You win. Morning. Jacob's here. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello, gamers. Another day, another doubloon, huh? How we doing? We good? Chilling? Vibing? Go. Oh. Anything new and exciting? Jacob, how are you? Uh, good, good. Yeah. I, I, I went and got my hands massaged because I've been practicing so much they got fucked up. Uh, yeah, I'm I've never, kidding. I've never had a problem with that. My hands, like, there was a brief period of time where my hands did hurt when I was playing fighting games, and I was like, "This is it, dude. This is the carpal tunnel." Because I've been playing video yeah. games since I was like three, right? <laughs> and I was like, "This is it, dude." And then it went away, and I'm like, "Oh, okay." So I can play. Like I played. I think I played like 160 games of Soul Calibur One last night, and everyone cool. everyone played like 20 games, and they were like, "Yeah, yeah. my hands hurt." I'm like, "Nah, dog, I'm here to die." <laughs> <laughs> Do you see this hill? This is the hill I die yeah, on. I um, unfortunately had to work last night because I man, yeah. I would love to have jumped into it's Soul Calibur. I've never played a Soul Calibur game, so. Yeah. Oh God. That game, the first one was surprising because the movement is so good, and then everything else felt pretty clean like playing it didn't feel like a clunky old game like i would expect it to so and Any i got time. to i got to make a friend very mad about siegfried siegfried's a banger that's yes sword, sir that's sword guile yeah that's, man <laughs> dude anytime you want to run you ever uh, just hit somebody at mid-screen and they get ring outed sick dude. i knew i knew fucking called it i i don't have my notebook with me today but remember yeah. when we were talking about soul caliber and people were like what character is that i'm gonna play siegfried. i literally wrote it down i was in told my notebook. siegfried or nightmare or uh I think, else. Uh, I think it might have been astroth but i'm not really i'm trying to shy away from big bodies i don't like the stereotype that i have conditioned <laughs> 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 i'm a little stubborn that way where it's people like oh adam would love this character i fucking hate, I hate that character, character. Yeah, i'll no, never not play it yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. the second you tell me like oh adam why aren't you playing x i'm like because i will never play x i'll never play x they're because garbage somebody, and they're somebody stupid. said that i would it's like the yeah. people that told me to play king in tekken because i like wrestling oh yeah and i'm like no thank no. you mm -hmm. no, dude. no i i won't fit in your box get Up fucked yeah uh -huh. uppercut I'll play some Steve. Uh, uh, the but, reason that we're able to do all this stuff is uh, through your support yeah. over on our Patreon at patreon.com slash run or store.loadingrunner.com. Yeah. Those two avenues. You watch it on Twitch. Make sure you drop a follow if you're new here and uh, maybe a young prime sub. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube, what up, YouTube? Do the usual stuff. You know, You know how it works. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to support us through YouTube, but you don't do anything else, then there is a super thanks system, which is basically just a donation. Yeah. If you want to do it that way, that's cool. Yep. We're we're right. online busking. So yep. thank you. Sure um, are. Yep. So uh yeah. Anyway, my hands are doing a lot better. I'm yeah. glad you don't have to do shit about that. No, it's it's nice that. to hear. I'm blessed. Right after the I believe that's called being built different, Jacob. Ah, I see. Yeah, that's what we can All say. I had to do was get good. <laughs> I see. Yeah. God damn. All you had to do is uh, be built different. No, at some point, though, I do want to go. Like, I would love to uh, run folks through some, like, hand exercises and stuff. Yeah. Um, I Well, I did the same hand exercises for fighting games because uh, that I did for, that I do for sword fighting and all the nerdy, douchey European martial arts stuff that I used to yeah. do. Um, I wouldn't say, how's that douchey? Explain. Most of the time, I'm oh. standing. One sec. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, what's up? Oh, I'm you just, can explain. I'm being self-deprecating, but most of the time when I'm doing things like that, I'm standing like this. Mm -hmm. This is not a non-douchey way to stand and fight somebody. Um, yeah, but there just stuff like that. I'm mostly just being self-deprecating. Yeah, if you're. Uh... But... Oh, also, we can take a quick peek at Ed. I'll show you. We got a new character. We did. We did. We did. I character. heard about that. He's pretty cool. I. He's very hard. Um, I did mess around with him. It ran him to Marisa. That's hilarious. That's modern. Um, I have messed around with him a little bit. I actually figured out some stuff on my own. That's very simple. The usual stuff. I'm not a complicated player. I like to do things that are very simple and effective, <laughs> or just good old-fashioned Street Fighter. So like Ed, he's got he's a boxer. He's got long range like psycho normals, basically. This one's really good. It's a 
good poke. This button is fucking absurd. Its hitbox is huge. It can be drive canceled. You know? And you can do all kinds of stuff off of it. This move is really good too. Oh, you're a wake up DI. Why are you doing that? I must have been practicing wake up DI against Luke. I think I was testing Marisa ranges. I was tired of people doing wake up DI on my drive rush, mm -hmm. stand medium kick, or my stand heavy punch, and I was trying to find all the ranges that were where I wouldn't get blown up. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and he's got he's got a fireball. He's got two stages. He's got a pretty good uppercut or a dragon punch, whatever one you want to say. There's three different distances: the light one, the medium, the heavy. He's got this stuff, which is like a combo ender, basically. This one's really good because the medium one's really good because that is just a safe jump. That's not a safe jump, isn't it? 39? Is it heavy? No, it should be 42. Which one's the safe jump? Um, yeah, this button can also be charged. You gotta be careful though, because I mean, it's the Luke heavy knuckle situation where like, if you see someone doing this, just, eat, just hit DI, they'll die. If they don't have level three, like, unless they can cancel it into level three, right? Mm -hmm. um, and what else? He's got uh, the scorpion move. He's got this one, the yeah. flicker, which is really fucking good. Uh, there is a situation he can put you in where he can do a throw and then meaty you with that. You know? And do that. But it, there is ways to beat it if you perfect parry it. And then if you block, like, the problem is too, like, if you block it, oops, yeah. fucking it up. Plus four in your face. Yeah, and then the mix continues. Plus four means you can do literally almost anything you want. Actually, not anything, because like, if he's plus four, he can't do this. He can only jab. So it's other. It's a. It's a low or it's a. Or it's a shimmy. He can shimmy the shit out of you too. Ed's pretty good at shimmying because Ed's pretty good at shimmying because uh, now you're thinking like, what if I just hold jump or anything? Well, this grabs. If this is hit, if this hits meaty, it hits your. It grabs your jump, and then you're in the same situation. But also, he can do things where if you try to di it, he can cancel it into a dash, which he can do both ways. So he can do like like that. And he can do he can do backwards as well. Um, okay. He's got the normal level one supers. Like this one's pretty invincible. Oops. This is like his normal level one invincible super. Um, but he does have some sauce, which is stuff like. Uh... Oh, this this is where the sauce comes. From. Yeah. Yeah. This is not everything else. Yeah, and then you can Ooh. do stuff like that. So, and you can only do, do, there's better stuff you can do. My basic, like, very bare bones. Something like this. You know, and then you can do the uppercut. I fucked it up, but you can do that afterwards. So, that's like the most bare bones. He has a cross up button, it's medium punch, which looks weird, but it's very good. He has a good anti air, which is stand heavy kick. This button is. It's something else, brother. This thing is, uh, it's gonna be, it's very good. And he also has a DP, but the only problem, and also the problem with, uh, stuff against Ed is, like, you can do, like, you can do stuff like this. You can, like, anti air, and then he can meet you with the, you know, meet you with that. So it's like, you can't really, you gotta be careful when you're jumping at Ed, but also he can do stuff like, oops. You can also just do that for jumping. So Ed's like anti airs are like they're weird and there's like specific ranges, but this one catches so much stuff that like even if we do something like uh let's see here. It's the wrong button. If we do something like uh that's a recorded. I want to record. Where's my record button again? There it is. So if like you're doing something like this, you know, like it's pretty, it's pretty good, dude. Like it's a pretty good button. <laughs> Doesn't hit cross up, obviously. So it's like he does have to deal with that, like like everybody else. But you could probably cross cut the DP like that, right? Like 
you can cross cut it if you need to. So it's like I fucked it up. But anyway, yeah, if you're good at cross cutting, which I'm not. Um, What's cross cutting? Cross cutting is um, you like input. You basically input the DP and like delay it a little bit, so you swap sides. Okay. And it's really good for cross ups, especially when people are trying to get out of the corner. You notice though, sometimes we'll like people will do things like um, if you're in the corner. Let's say you go like they go to jump your throw. Like you can you go for a throw and they jump over top of you and then you just cross cut it and you hit them with the DP on the other side and then. You know, at least punish them doing something for getting them out of or making that decision. Right? This button's really good, but it's minus like six on block, so you got to be careful with the range. You can't do a point blank. This button's really good, but he doesn't have like any like, you know, as far as like meterless combos, like you can do stuff like that. You get a knockdown here. Um. So that's, but the, the, again, the problem that you run into with Ed is like his jab, and people have talked about this, but his jabs are gonna whiff at certain ranges. See how there, like, if you're too far away, that second part, it's a tar this is a target combo. But you gotta be super close. But you gotta be like in their grill for the second, that third hit. So unless you're like confirming off the first hit, which is fine, you're gonna run into less problems. Like even there, like just see how like it whiffed. Like if you're max range crouch light punch, which is a really good move, it's his four. He has two four frames, which is standing jab, and he has crouching jab. So he's got two options basically. But there's this one's got a little bit longer range, but um, it's you can't really get much off of it, right? So his threat he doesn't threaten like with his lights like other characters do. Um, You can do all kinds of stuff with him. He's really cool. I actually really like him. I'm enjoying playing him. Oh, also this is really good. Because this, so that button is really, like this is standing light kick. The standing light kick has a target combo. Um, and it's like hit confirmable, basically. So like, if you're doing like, I guess you can't stagger it. But anyway, you can do this like, you can do twice, and if you hit like any, like the first one, you probably won't hit confirm the second one, but this button's really good. And the reason it's so good and it's so easy, like it's easy to hit confirm, is if you do it, like you're plus one in their face, which is pretty good. Like, catch smashers, like it'll catch mashing, like a lot of the time. Like, you know, you can do stuff like, obviously, like you get in that jab range whiff, right? But. This is pretty good, you know, so he's got some fun stuff that he can do. Like that level two, there's some wild stuff that people are doing with level two. I think there was a combo I saw that Ed starts at three meters, does his level two like out here, basically starting here and pushes you all the way to the corner and builds another level two by the end of the combo, which is really funny. It doesn't do a ton of damage. It's not like doing like 7K or some shit. It's doing like 4,000, but it's like, it's funny. And I think it's fun that to have a character like this that you can like, um, you can fuck her. Like he's got, he's got some fucking, he's got some real cool shit that is fun. And I think it's, I don't think, again, I'm not a professional player, but I don't think he's like, like insanely good. I don't know. He doesn't feel like, I mean, maybe it's still early, right? Like yeah. it's like impossible to tell. It's like, I just don't see this character like, you know, setting the world on fire it's not that he's bad but i just don't think he's like you know he's not going to come in as like a the fear that a lot of people have with dlc characters is they come in and they're like oh they're just top tier like right away mm -hmm. or whatever because fighting games do have a history of dlc characters being very very good yep um flicker is really good this is really good um also you can do stuff like uh this is really good too it's basically like a fireball but it crumples on counter hit and you can do stuff like that. So he's got a lot of threatening range. This is like a pretty threatening range. And also this is kind of a mix up because like if they're, if you're in the corner and they're sitting there and they're just like charging flicker and then like back dashing or whatever, and let's say you try to DI this. If you try to DI it, they'll probably back dash it. If you try to jumping is the, the common kind of like, you're going to be like, oh, I want to jump at the ed. Well, they can charge heavy kick, but you don't know which one they're charging. And if you try to jump, they just snatch you. And yeah. You eat a ton of damage and you end up in the corner and you're real sad about it. 
But you can do all kinds of stuff, right? Like counter hit, you can do like that. You know, level one. Oh, fucked it up. But anyway, yeah, he's he's got a lot of really cool stuff. He's fun to play. Like, I'm not the best player in the world by any stretch of the imagination, but he's fun to press buttons on. You know? What do you think his main weaknesses are? Because... Oh, I don't know enough, right? Okay. Like, he's, his DP range is a little fucking wonky. Like, this is pretty good, I guess. I haven't really seen any of this lose to any jump-ins yet. It's not like a Rashid situation where... Uh, the jab thing is a big deal. Okay. That's probably, like... That's really, that's actually, for a lot of like, if you look at all the like really like top tier characters in Street Fighter, all of their jabs are really good. Like, and can be cancelable. I mean, his is cancel, his is drive rush cancelable, right? You can do stuff like that, right? Okay. And even in it like, you know, oh, I fucked it up. But, you know, um, what else? He's a little stubby, but he's like good up close, right? He's got a lot of harassing buttons and like far away, I guess he's not great, but again, Flicker kind of changes that because he can charge it and fucking, you know, catch to something, he can do something like that, right? You know, he's going to do all kinds of stuff. He doesn't, um... Do you have a wake up? An OD wake up? Yeah, he does. Wake up? He has an invincible DP. So, I mean, it's the normal DP rules, it's minus 28 on block, which is like... Minus 28 is, you can, you can set up shop, um, and do whatever the fuck you want, you know, but he's cool. I like him. I just think like, maybe he doesn't get, this jab thing will probably get changed, I think, to like, maybe, it'll probably get increased a little bit to like, see how like, can't even. I guess the mm. punish counter pushes them back a little bit, but you know that'll probably get increased a little bit. But I don't know. I think it's fine. It's frustrating, but it means you can't just sit there and like mash jabs or whatever, right? But I think this is really good. This is a good like kind of poke tool. Be fucking annoying, right? You're just trying mm -hmm. to be annoying. This one's really good. It doesn't hit low. It looks like it hits low, but you can block it high. Um, but it's got good range, and it's like. It's DI, it's DI cancelable, right? And you just can go into something like that, and then... I fucked it up again, but... Hey, he's cool, man. Oh, he's got a Superman punch, too. So it beats lows. Crush it, or crush it. You'll always get a punish counter, like, on it, but... I think it's only plus one when it hits, so... It's not like you can just sit there and, like... You're not gonna skip, quote-unquote, skip neutral by just, like, doing this shit. I think it's, like, what is it on block? like at yeah, your minus three so it's like nobody's turn really um all of his special moves that's minus five that's minus 12 that's minus 12 so like even this is jab punishable also a thing that i don't think a lot of people maybe realize is like he has a punch out of the dash and there's two different ones he can delay it so he does like the right hand punch and then some if you do it fast he does the left hand punch um both are minus four so you can jab punish these if you're quick on it. Can you parry that grab? That you can. Grab? Um, there is a problem with that though. It is not perfect. It is an answer, but if they delay it, then you know there's it's fighting games. So um, you can. Uh, turn it on. So like he can do stuff like he'll go to throw you and then. He doesn't get pulled as far if you parry it. Okay, but you still get pulled. Yeah, but you still get pulled. And if you perfect parry, you parry it, it, then it doesn't I don't think I charged it properly. Yeah, that was a perfect parry, I'm pretty sure. Standing light and standing, both the lights have target combos that are three chains. But this is just annoying. This is a good harassment tool. You know, they get annoyed and they're like, start pressing and then you're at a, you're at a range, right? Like you're like here, you're just harassing with this shit. And then fucking they go to like hit like crouch medium kick or something to contest it. And then you fucking do like that, right? So he's got some stuff. He's good. I think he's just a really good character. Like, I mean, he's fun and that, but he's hard. Like, I don't, 
I don't see a lot of us, like, unless we're willing to put in, like, he's, like, the kind of character, I think, that you're wanting to put in, like, you're gonna put in, like, unless you're just naturally good at fighting games, I feel like it. For me, I can tell you, like, I'm gonna probably put, like, 50 hours into this character and still be, like, I'm still kind of bad, so, but that's just me. That's what I know my weaknesses and, right, like, Marisa is easy because she has a... I think Marisa's very easy. She gets harder as, like, the other player gets better. Um, so, but, like, baseline Marisa is pretty easy. Like, you can just kind of, you're just kind of fucking whip punishing or whatever. And I shouldn't even say whip punishing because a lot of people aren't doing that. But that's something I've been actively working on is, like, my whip punish game and, like, learning, being way more aware of, like, spacing traps and stuff like that. But anyway, yeah, that's basically it. He's fucking cool, though. He's got a lot of style. I like that he's, like... You know, it's just neat seeing a boxer in Street Fighter again, right? So, cool character. But this patch, yeah, there were some big patch changes. This one that shook things up just a little bit. Jamie got buffed yep. big time. Yeah, with the drinks. Jamie can get a drink off his forward throw and be plus seven in the corner, I think. Um, he doesn't get much off of it, off like a normal, but if... James, like he gets like stand medium kick so it's like, like he doesn't get like a real mix but i mean it's still pretty good um but if he's going from drink level three to drink level four then you're you're fucking holding that shit immensely um his level two got changed and that he goes back to his old drink level after he uses his level two which was not mm -hmm. the case before um and who else ryu got fucking buffed yeah. ryu is out there doing grown-ass adult damage like, he used to do adult damage before, and now Ryu is, like, Marisa levels of damage. Nice. Marisa is fucking... Um, I mean, Marisa. Ryu is fucking hammering people. It is really funny to watch. I think it's great. I'm, I'm very stoked for all the Ryu players. I'm glad. They all seem very excited. Yeah. I saw a video of Daigo, like, with punishing a stand medium kick from Jury with, like, I don't know, some button heavy punch into super level one super like three times in a row and he was laughing his ass off he was having a great time uh jp got shot but he's still good um they changed did you none of it i don't think any of us knew but jp's crouching here i can show you big change not that jp was terrorizing our community at all like there's not a lot of jp players here mm -hmm. um where am i going <laughs> what am i doing um one of the big things about JP, I've never even touched this character. Um, JP, this button, yep. I don't think any of us knew, but it used to have uh, upper, it used to have air invincibility. Air invincibility? Yeah, like it was like, it had certain frames of air and vulnerability. So like it was beating out a bunch of shit that it shouldn't have been beating out. Um, they added some extra hurt box to the bottom of this move okay so he's easier it's easier to win punish um they changed uh they changed amnesia in the scaling they didn't change all the active frame it's still 20 active it's still the same but they changed the damage scaling off of it so if you ever go to throw or it's less scary to try to throw a jp because if they amnesia they get like the damage scaling went from, it used to be 15%, now it's 60%. So they get a lot less off of Amnesia counterplay. Um, they also don't gain meter while they're being hit or the bombs are on the screen. Okay. From the Amnesia, so. Um, you also get more meter back from, if they like Amnesia and you just go to parry the bombs that are on you, you get more drive gauge back. Okay. than you did before so it's like they made some changes he's still jp i mean i don't I don't play this character so yeah but and then uh lucas they did one change to lucas lucas has a change uh his crouching medium yeah has three more extra extra frames of recovery so i mean you're probably not it probably looks the same here but it's more like they can't just like they're not going to see. I mean, I'm sure we've all had a loot come up. I mean, I've probably done this to people where it's like you just walk up and you're like, I don't know, you fucking do something. You're just like, I'm going to hit this three times in a row, brother. And if I hit you, then, you know, I do a ton of damage or whatever. But you do all kinds of stuff. But yeah. And then they changed a bunch of jabs on people because they were tired of. Where are you? 
They also changed some frame data on certain people's jabs, which is Rashid and Ken and Chun Li, because this shit was stupid. They added more, um, more like hurt box, hurt box size between frames, like two and eight or some shit. Like, so basically, like Ken's can't just do drive rush jab. Mm -hmm. and get away with, like it's whiff punishable or it's punishable now now you can challenge it whereas before you were never you weren't challenging this shit it's pretty obnoxious it's pretty hard to deal with but i don't play scary i think that's it oh yeah Keith. yeah i don't again it's not a lot it's, oh, it's not a lot i think it's something but it's good this character is fucking terrifying in the corner now because now he has a way to cash out into level three yes and now he can do stuff like oh that doesn't work I don't even think I can do this. I don't think I've ever done this. That's not. It's three buttons, right? What's that? Yeah. Yes. So it's like, you can do like... Oh, fuck. How fast do you have to do that? Very. Yeah. There you go. Now you can cash out into level three. Off OD Lariat. So that's pretty good. That's actually really fucking good. I mean, that's 4,000 damage for that, and you can get a little bit more. I think I've, I've seen, like, combos that are like, you know, there's, like, a glitch with dropkick now, and I've seen Geefs do, like, 8,000 damage off of mm -hmm. it, but I don't know how practical it is. They probably won't keep that, because Geefs can never have anything fun or nice, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We don't deserve it, really. I'm trying to buffer it. That didn't work. That was neat. Oh, no, my finisher. And then... Oh, you're level 1 has a that's not level one is level one kicks i have no idea i play mom oh, yeah. <laughs> uh this has more of a hitbox underneath it underneath geef yeah so, so yeah, you don't like, have to time it perfectly you can but just kind of do it Catch it's jump still down. kind of i would like it to be a little bit better clearly but you know it's um it's better but i wouldn't say that it's like amazing or completely fixed. Yeah. But it's pretty good. It's like... I do that real fast. You have to do off the first hit? Yes. I'm not a 720 player, holy shit. You just live like this? Fuck me, dude. Yeah, I can't do it fast enough. Oh, that, that was it. Oh, I got parry. But anyway, yeah, those are the changes. Pretty good. Pretty good, brother. Uh. You wanna play it? Yep. Oh. Oh. But yeah, pretty good patch. I don't know. Seems good. I'm excited for like the big, all the big changes. I mean, Marisa got better by all the other top tiers getting worse, so. I mean, Chun Li is still Luke's still probably the best character in the game because of the JP nerfs and the Ken pseudo nerfs. Um, yeah, yeah, great. And but again, a lot of that stuff doesn't affect all of us. You know, we're just we are just humble fighting game players. <laughs> probably want to change your character. Uh huh. Uh, we are all just humble fighting game players, and none of it affects us. Really, in the long run, not competitively, right? It does affect us, but I try not to put too much stock in like who's the best and who's the worst, and I just play. <laughs> I'm just, I just don't care. I'll play whoever, you know? Yeah. So, pretty good. Fighting game's good, actually. <laughs> Oh yeah, Manon got some changes. She has a a better one of her command normals got buffed a little bit. It's better to drive rush, rush with, I think. Oh, Aki got a bunch of changes. Sorry, I forgot about Aki. Aki is better. Her her stand medium punch is a lot better, and her crouching jab is a lot better. All right, let's give this a shot. Uh, not doing it. Hold oh. on, my controller's not, uh... Oh, fuck. Why wasn't it working? I don't know. One second. I'll plug you back in. 
There you go. It, the control pad isn't working. Hold on just a second. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're good You're now. Good. Okay. All right. Let's go. Yeah, better jab range. She can actually punish moves that are minus four now. That's wild. Time to hustle. Nah. Mm hmm. A lot of people always. Nice. A lot of people always talk about how fighting games were always fair and balanced and honest and back in the day, but if you watch any video of these old fighting games, brother. None of them were fair and none of them were balanced. Oops. That's a really old games were balanced by the internet and not existing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The internet doesn't exist. Sick. Ooh. Oh, fighting games are sick now. Characters are all functional. I played like a little bit during like Street Fighter 4 and some of those characters were just like not functional. You know? Didn't King get hold of? Is that real? Oh. It couldn't have been plus 90, but it was probably something high. Oh, that was a good DI. Time to hustle. Oh. Nice. That knee was hell of space. Thank you. You must sadly report that you're fully bullock road. I will never play that game. Schmix. Ooh. Good plan is addictive. Yeah. It just doesn't look it. I know it's probably a banger of a game, but I'm looking at poker cards and I'm immediately disinterested. I just think poker is but not I am just not interested in poker cards. I understand that's not the game, but you know, visually, aesthetically, nah, I'm good dog. Oh, if it's a math roguelike, I definitely shouldn't do it because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> I'm a moron, push up. Siberian Express. Oh. Ah. That work, yeah. You're not dead. How's that going for you? What was that? I thought Geef Health. I thought it was you weren't in the yellow. No? That is really funny though. Yeah, it was CA. Oh, punch that. Yeah, there you go. <gasps> is Geef Japanese? Kind of. In a way that. What? Yeah, more, they had more hits done on hit, so. You're gonna do. I didn't. That sucks. <laughs> um, um, um. Oh no, 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 no. God, that button's good. Thanks. God, standing heavy kick is so good, dude. I wanted to play Ed today, but now that I'm just watching Street Fighter, now all I want to do is play Marisa. Fucking love that character, dude. <laughs> Marisa's so sick. What a character. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that 5HK is something else, brother. <laughs> oh, you could have jabbed or something. 
What are you on punish counter? Oh, Jesus. Forward heavy. Man, medium. that sucks. That change is really going to affect my play. Switch chat, does uh, anyone know the frame data on punish counter forward medium kick? It's got to be at least plus four, right? So it feels like I can't catch people on when they're like landing with the uh, SPD anymore. You know, it should be the, still the same. What do we Google? Yeah. With my right as a streamer. I've earned that. I think I've earned that, right? I've been doing this for what? How long? Nine years? <laughs> It'll be 10 years this June. I'll be, uh, I would have been wow. streaming. Geef. Geef forward medium kick. Punish counter. I don't even know what it is on. It's like plus two on hit, right? So it should be plus six, right? Zongia wins. Google's better behave. Oh, damn! It's kind of sick, dude. Oh, Two follow. Yeah, nice mash. I like it. Let's go, Jacob. Oh, I would have. Yeah, it's a good thing you didn't. I would have SPD there and would have fucking died for it. That's my. You gotta hold this shit. Oh. Highest plus, I guess it depends where he hits from. Yeah. Punish counter is only zero? That's wild. But I guess if you're doing it point blank, but generally not. You can just wait it out. Yeah. That's my six. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, never mind. I misread that. That's my bad. It'd be at least plus four. Yeah. Minimum. Bare minimum is plus four, right? Yeah. No. Think fast, sucker. Can I get a can I get a mod that just makes Ed have Steve's voice? Uppercut. Uppercut. Up, up, uh. Oh man, hard to get in on. It's over. <laughs> I'll get some of these subs while we're gonna do that part of my job, right? Uh, let's see here. There's no way it's been 40 minutes. Holy Jesus. I talked for way too long. My bad, gamers. Uh, time to fry thanks to 63 months. Heard this Ed guy was ripped. Yeah. He's kind of ripped. Uh, TK squared, thanks for the 9 month resub. Allness, thanks for the 79. Gray, uh, thank you for the 58. Rush, thanks for the 39. Colonel Jesus, thanks for the 20 month resub. Uh, Tob, Tobkus, Tobkus. Sorry, I probably butchered that, but I'm gonna go with that. Thanks for the 13 month resub, Zagrog. Oh, thanks what? for 170 months. Uh, English Grin. Thank you for 108 months. Music Squid. Thanks for 77. Roscoe Dark Horse. Thank you for the 83 months. Good luck with lurking. Dark Meter. Thanks for 25 months. And. Boy, 151, thanks to the 14 month resub. I got it right. Let's fucking go, dude. I love getting Twitch names right. It's like my one dopamine hit. Shouldn't say one, but that's a big dopamine hit for me. Especially when you hit a real hard one. Oh, damn it. I like the, I, I, I don't hate it because they probably would have mashed there, right? It's worth a shot, right? Yeah, brother. Gotta make them respect it at least a little bit. Let's nopey nopey oh. fight club. I made that joke on Tuesday, all right? So. Oh yeah, that's not working anymore. Okay. Think fast. I like the squeak. <laughs> yeah, it does. The sneaker squeak. Okay. Smash. You're mine. Nelson will be here, yeah. 
I don't know where no they also said they're gonna be late. They're recording TTC, I think. I was just oh, getting shit. his sneakers to squeak on the road. How are you able to talk when you're having a 20 minute timeout? Oh man, I gotta stop doing that. It's not no. with the change. It's not working anymore. Which change? You said the it was the hit frames, so I don't know. I'm just noticing that I'm grabbing less. Like I'm able to SPD less after like. Well, if you're or... if you're jumping in and you're hitting, then the timing is gonna be different because they're in hit stun. And then block sun is different, right? Mm. <laughs> Can't silence the truth. Be truthful. My bad, OG. Squeak, squeak. Did anybody see the thing that was going around? Ah, it was it. the fighting game notations, but it was all different shack faces. That shit was funny as hell. Big fan of Shaq Notation fighting games. Nice parry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. Play Shaq Fu? That game sucks. I've played Shaq Fu before. That game is real bad. going on with Dragon Ball Fighters? <laughs> they shadow released rollback, but the game is unbelievably bugged, I think. Everything I've seen is like, it looks like a mess. It looks like things have gone fucking real loopy in that game. Oh, it's spectator mode? Oh, okay popular old loading ready run series spectator mode <laughs> okay so all the clips i were seeing were from spectator mode that's okay that makes more sense then nice plug yeah you know that series that hasn't been done anything with in years they can backdash it yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking ad dude <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. Fucking Ed. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, Mortal Kombat released Peacekeeper. He looks funny. In that, you know. It's John Cena in a video game, which is funny. <laughs> that is very funny. Oh. Because of spectator mode, every Jigglypuff you find in a Pokemon game is named Zangief. Yeah, that's sick. Actually, the two episodes I did on Smash Brothers, like getting to talk to both TK Breezy and Bobby Scar, they were they were incredible. Very nice people. Big oh. fans. I'll be lifetime fans of both of them just because of that. Yes. So it can be parried, but it doesn't change block data. Parrying doesn't change. So yes, he's still plus four, but... If you perfect parry it, then you go less distance, so he gets less off of it, you know? But he is still very plus, plus four. How many Eds are in the lobby right now? That's what I want to know. It is wild to me that they took what was probably the easiest character in Street Fighter V and made him the hardest. <laughs> oh, damn it. Wrong input. Shit. Are you trying to level one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yep. I hit a button. Nice job. Good bait. I can't believe that word. <laughs> I guess they were... Oh, they were minus two. Yeah, he is very complicated. Oh. Nice jump. Oh, false. Stinger, yeah. 
Yeah, that's yeah, gonna hurt. Throw. Good back throw. Yeah. yeah. I like that you're using headbutt though. I'm working on my medias. Yeah, yeah. So. That was gonna hit medias fuck too, by the way. So you're good. The timing was good. Oh no! Fuck! Shit! Mistimed it. Ed. Oh, I love his victory pose, dude. Oh. <laughs> Just a big ass explosion. Ba, ba, ba. Express. Siberian Express. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, God. Ba, ba, ba. Nice sweep. Nice. Mixed. Isn't Ed like not a piece of shit though in the story mode? Like, isn't he actually kind of nice? If you're nice to him. That's what I think I saw. He's like okay, right? Was that Ed was never a bad guy, right? Ed's just he was a he's a fucking bison clone, isn't he? He's a clone. Dead? No, not dead. That was a lot of scaling. No, I tried to finish it fancy. I should have just finished it with the jackhammer. Nah, brother. You gotta take those moments because you'll never know. Like, you gotta just do that stuff because you're trying to get it into your brain banks of just doing it when it counts, right? Even if you don't win, even if you didn't win that round, I'd be like, oh, at least you did it, right? It's good to have a meter dump. Like as someone who, as when I started playing fighting games, I never use meter. And when I'm new to a character, I, it takes me forever to start using meter. It takes me a long time, so. That's nice, yeah, good back throw. SPD? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't have the range. I think light would have worked if you manually inputted it. Manual input yeah. light would probably grab from there. Probably. Nope. Easy. That move is so good. You blocked ah. lows? Hog. Nice. Harry, shit. Very good. Is that something? We, I mean, don't be offended. Is that something we talked about? <laughs> I don't remember. I'm going to be honest with you. Fuck, that connected? That's wild. I didn't think that was going to hit. Too. We never block lows around here. I'm a habitual crouch blocker. And I die for it in like every other game I play. I was trying well, I was playing Soul Calibur 1 last night, brother. I was crouch blocking constantly and I was dying for it. <laughs> blocking lows admitting defeat. True, Bessie. Oh hey. Oh wow. Worked out. Think fast. In Strive, it's the same as every other fighting game. There's highs, lows, overheads, right? Every fighting game kind of operates on the same, you know, same like shell kind Thank of, you. right? Fundamentals and everything else that you can get from. Um, Thank you, Zach. The fundies. Oh, did I not set the limit at uh, five? I don't know. Mm. You can check. Go into, yeah, room settings. Go to the right. Matches the win is infinity. 
I'm a big Infinity enjoyer. God. I am aware. <laughs> I, I am a big first to death gamer. I love that shit. Oh, Lord. The faster you hit rematch, it's like a test of like skill to see who can hit the rematch button the fastest. You know? I want that frame one rematch, you know? Uh, sorry, I just need a couple of bites of. Yeah, you're good. Take your time. We're not in a rush. I'm not in a rush. I'm chilling. Go ahead, snack. Do what you gotta do. Wah! Oh, what? Oh, yeah, it's ours gaming. I was playing it's ours. I played a couple people a couple nights ago. We were probably playing Street Fighter. There was like two people. I only played like a couple people. I played it's ours like 30 times or something. <laughs> Uh, it's our got so much better. It's wild, dude. It's so cool to see. And there was another person, uh, a wild Shen. I think they've been in this Twitch chat every now and again. That a wild Shen got so much better than the last time I played them. It's wild. So good. It's cool to see, dude. Let us begin. Mm. Love that Ryu outfit. <laughs> That I will say though that Ryu costume is dog shit. <laughs> hold that, hold that one, Ryu players. That that costume sucks. <laughs> uh. All right. Wow. Yeah, it's a laundry day, Ryu. That's true, actually. Bum, 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 bum. They will meet you to death. I'll just, I would just take throw in this situation. I'm a down back gamer. Make them throw you. Oh, fuck. You are mine. Oh. Oh, good spacing. Oh. Great spacing. <laughs> what a whiff punish. I. Okay. Yeah. They're gonna level three. Uh, <laughs> did you block? <laughs> it's funny because it's not me. It's funny because it's not me, dude. It's funny because it wasn't me. Fuck, that's good. <laughs> I, don't uh, I, I don't care either. Fuck, who cares? That's funny as hell. The whole point of playing this character, if you're not like trying to win tournaments, is to fucking do funny shit. This character is a walking comedy factory, dude. Ooh. Geef just, he does dumb, he does weird shit, and he's funny as hell. Yeah, you won. You won that round. Like, you won that match, basically. I don't care what the score sheet says. Oh, fuck. Nope. Yeah, I had a, I had to be talked down. A friend oh, of mine. No. Shit. Yeah. A friend of mine had, after, what was it, Tuesday? Tuesday, I had one of the most frustrating fighting game days I've had in a very long time. And a friend of mine had to talk me down. <laughs> remind me what the whole point of all of this was and why we play this game or these games you know big thing that stuck with me was like you gotta you have to learn to be in love with the process right you have to i know we've talked about that before but i really did kind of forget about it you know dead hey nelson oh you're here let me unmute nelson Hey, how's it going? What's up, gamer? What's up? Ooh, that's a. Let me turn hey. that down a little bit. How you doing? I'm doing well. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Back from Chicago and ready to, happy to get some games in. Ready yeah. to play your terribly nerfed character? Oh, what's the news? I didn't. I didn't <laughs> Nothing hear. Nothing really. You got an extra three frames of recovery on your crouching medium punch. It will not. You will not notice it, and I don't think it'll notice. affect you very much. <laughs> Okay, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. I watched a little bit of uh, people playing Ed. Yeah. Oh, I know there's a new character. Ed is sick. Damn. He's very hard. 
Okay, sure, yeah. Interesting character. Oh, wow. you, Are you interested in trying him out or what? Uh, no, not right now. I just want to keep playing no. Luke right now, but like maybe eventually. It yeah. looks like there's some similarities with Luke. Uh, not. Not a ton. Not a ton. They, yeah. They both seem to like punching people yeah. in the oh. belly. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Bum bum bum. Maybe that's where the similarities end. Ryu is Pog. Ryu is very Pog. It's funny that we all love Ryu in this game. We fucking hate Ken. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're essentially the same, right? Now it's going to be Ryu. But I mean, like, now that Ryu is on his reign of terror, like, now we're all going to be like, this is so sick, you know? <laughs> How are we going to feel when there's like four Ryu? I mean, like, what if there was like four Ryu's in top eight of Tampa Never Sleeps? We'd all be like, that's so sick. And if there's four Ken's, everyone's like, this is garbage. This game sucks. <laughs> it's really funny and how funny Street Fighter 2, they were like the exact same character. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Well, they had different, the small minor differences in like their moves, right? Ken's, Ken, historically, his Shoryuken has always been a little bit better than Ryu's, right? Oh, okay. Um, Ryu Ooh, has always what? had better fireballs. Wow, what a DI. Whoa! Um, were there a bunch of other Ooh. changes? Uh, oh like, yeah, there's a bunch. They nerfed, frames. they nerfed, so, no, right, so I mean like, big. they changed another thing on Luke, but you never do, they changed some air rec or recovery frames on your air knuckle if you do it at the height of your jump. Cause people were using it to get out of the corner, but like you never do that, so it doesn't. Other than that, no, no changes. I used to when I played modern, it's just, yeah. you know, that's, that's a tough It's a bit harder to, to do, off. yeah. <laughs> in the heat of the battle. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. They nerfed JP a little bit, but again, nobody here. You never ever have to, you barely ever play JPs, right? So it doesn't really change much. We've got one JP who's a regular on yeah. the Fight Club. Right? But I'm just saying that this community specifically, there's not a lot of right. JP players. Like no. we don't have a JP hunting down people in the hallway, right? <laughs> so we got that. And then they buffed Ryu, they buffed Aki, they buffed Jamie. And... Ryu and Jamie are looking pretty good. Um, I'm happy for them. I'm glad because oh, those yeah. characters sure needed it. I'm, Jamie wasn't getting a lot of love. No. Earlier. I'm excited to see what like what are they gonna do with like Honda or Lily or Mino. Mino got some changes, but not enough to like really kind of change her position in the game ecosystem. But there is a big patch coming, so you know. I like how there were some people that were like, this patch is pretty big. I'm like, brother, you have not seen a Street Fighter patch before. <laughs> Dude, oh, okay. There's going to be some changes. Season two is going to look, dr I feel like season two is going to look drastically different. Ooh. Fair enough. So uh, do you know how soon the next big patch is coming? They, the, the, mm, they haven't said, no, it'd be a couple months, probably. Probably in the summer. It'll probably be like June. Okay. Somewhere around there. Probably with Akuma or just after. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Oh, damn. God, I am not looking forward to Akuma, I'm being honest with you. <laughs> that character is going to be. There's no way that character is bad. I don't think Akuma has never been bad in any Ooh. game he's ever been in. Mm. Oh, shit. Please hit a button. Nope. Yeah, 16 That's bars of me. drive rush. I still love that picture of just like round one, it's like normal drive rush, and then round two, he's got an extra five bars of drive bar. <laughs> it's really funny. Round round three, he's got like 17. Ooh. Will I read the patches on stream? No, I don't. I'm not. I'm not one of those. I don't think anybody would ever come and care what I have to say about a patch note, I'll be honest with you. I mean, maybe some people do, but I just don't think like. You know what I mean? I'm just here to play fighting games. What's this move Ed has where he like kind of what the fuck whips that? a little string out? Yeah, it's called flicker. It's flicker. really good. Okay. It's okay. kind of it works in the same way that he can do it like Luke's charge knuckle. Oh, okay. And if he charges it and he hits you, you if you block it, he pulls you toward him and he's plus four in your face. It's really good. If you block it? Yeah. Only on the charge one? Yeah. Okay. okay. On the charge one, yeah, he drags he drags you toward him, and then he has a okay. mix. He's a strike throw, basically. Well, then why do they have him looking like an emo kid when he's really a cowboy with a last suit? <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question, actually. Okay. I don't, we're not asking the right questions, Nelson. I mean, he's got Kathleen's haircut, but, yeah. uh, you know, John Wayne's um, equipment. It would be funny to see, like, a, an entire, entire lure 
mod revamp of all the characters in Street Fighter 6. Hell yeah. There's, what is there, 16 char player characters? 18 When's characters? When's our Capcom partnership starting? We've been at this stream for almost a year. There's enough. There's, a, there's a, probably a character for every lure member, right? You could probably mod that shit. That would be Easy. a lot of work. Yeah. But there's only like fun. 17 of us. Yeah, there's like 18 characters, so there'd be one left over. Perfect. Paul would be JP. Yep. <clears throat> Who'd Graham be? Probably Ryu. Sure, let me do it. <clears throat> ben can be Meno. Ben would probably be Honda. Is it, is it Jacob or Weaver? Ben would be Honda. No, ben would be Honda, Jacob yeah, would be. I missed it. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Right. He jumped back and I. I you did level one. No, no, no. Oh, you, caught, I, you I, SPD'd I him. him. I got him with a. He yeah, is Manel. Sure, I'm into that. I mean, Jerry. I mean, Kathleen could just be Ed. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that is really funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Wheeler would be Lily. Yeah. No, Paul would be JP. Oh, damn, 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 damn. Surge would be Jamie, but it's coffee. Right, instead yeah. of alcohol, it's coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Ooh. Corey Ooh. would be Jury? Yeah, I could see that. Ooh! Heather gonna what be a good Cammy? combo. Who's gonna be Ken? Maybe Graham's Ken. Or is, Ken, is Graham Ryu? Graham's Ryu. Ken Maybe could be. Paul you think Paul be has to be Ken? But I just think Maybe Paul, Paul is, and Graham have Paul to be Paul as you. fucking JP would be funny because we hello yeah. and then he fucking ground spikes you and you die. Fuck. Yeah. You know? Aki Heather? Yeah, Heather could be Aki. Oh, Heather yeah, could yeah, be Aki, yeah, Aki actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the blue hair already. I like it. Yeah. You think J oh I guess James does have more Ryu image energy than Graham. Sure, that's true, sure. actually. That's James fair. would be Ryu. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Graham and Graham and James can be Ryu and Ken, that's fine. James is Guile? Oh, that's actually really funny. Yeah. Yeah. James is James is crouched down. My bad, OG. <laughs> Graham could be Guile. Yeah. Let's see it. <laughs> we need like I need to get that Guile emote on my Twitch channel so we can spam that shit. My bad, OG. <laughs> uh, I could, I'll have to do that this weekend. I'm Ken. I mean, Ken's pretty good. Kind of assumed that you're uh, Marisa. Marisa, yeah. I don't want to assume anything, right? Fair. This would be an interesting draft. It's only one round, but yeah. You know. Oh no! Damn. I'm Marisa or Blanca. I've never played Which Blanca. One of us is Rashid. Like we're all content creators, so that yeah. one should be a That's high. That's true, pick. actually. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Rashid would be. I don't know who Rashid would be. Beach could be Rashid. That'd be really yeah, funny. I'm, I'm into it. Desert Storm, and then Beach just twerks all over you in the corner, and you fucking die. <laughs> That would be really oh. funny to see. Fuck. I wish I knew how to do that because I don't think I, it would take me way too long, but it would be funny to do. Ooh, damn. Ian would be Dalsum. That just like writes That's itself. Good. Ooh. Wow, what a way for it. Yeah, I got. Uh... Can you imagine Ian is Dalsum? Fucking yoga and he fucking floats in the air and just Ian's face. So like how funny would that be? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be funny as shit. I'm just thinking about them moving around with like, you know, Nelson's face. Nelson gets to be Luke just because. Sure. Right? I'm into it. Yeah. Jeez. Beach with pandemic hair is Blanca? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Beach and little fucking yeah, Oshkosh okay. Bagosh overalls, you know? Fucking throwing his little Blanca chan out. Like, he's like, anime I, season. I, throws I the fucking want to dress like Luke, but even more like a little kid. Though, yeah, too. more I'm like a have, little like, kid. Luke with a backpack. Yeah, yeah, and you got fucking candy all over you. Like, you got sticky gonna, hands for some reason. I, just, yes, <laughs> I want, yeah. My Luke is going to be, I'm like chocolate crumbs all over my hands and mouth. <laughs> yeah. And I'm in like a, a rain onesie. Yeah. Like a muddy buddy, if you know what that is. No, I it's don't. <laughs> Yeah. Like, it sounds funny weird. though. Muddy Buddy like, is a very on a funny. Vacation and yeah. a giant muddy Buddy, yeah. muddy buddy mm. is a fucking very funny sentence. Holy shit! My God, Cam is Cammy is pretty funny. Yeah. Just, yeah, Cam is Cammy. Just because be we've never called Ooh, him Cammy good. before. No. Good call. Good call. Yeah. Good read. Kind of. Good read. 
god, dude. Mm. When somebody gets punished counter with that stand heavy kick, I'm like, oh, fuck. I hurt. <laughs> I'm like, oh, god. That's such a good noise, too. Dude, bang. It sounds like a gun going off. Cam's Manol? That would be good, too, actually. Cam is Manol. Please call Cam Cammy? Oh no. I want no, to talk to him so bad. No. Wiggins is Ken? That's funny. Oh, James is Chun Li? Yeah, I can see that. Oh, I don't have the. Oh, God. I still think James is Ryu is just too good. I mean, with James with a beard, kind of, you could just, like, it's just Ryu with a beard, right? <laughs> you know? You know? White guys with dark hair and a beard, you know? Kind of olive complexion. Or you can. Jordan could be Kim. Yeah. Wouldn't Jordan be more of like a. Jordan could be a pretty good Rashid, too. Yeah, Jordan would be Rashid, actually. Yes. It's like, Rashid's the most zoomer of the. Who's room. the biggest shit poster? Rashid. That's Jordan, right? Jordan's the biggest shit poster we have. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. What? Oh. Oh, nice. The character creator exists? Yeah, it's true. Who's Jamie at Surge? I forgot about that. Yeah, Jamie at Surge. Good block. Ooh. Good parry. Well, you know what I meant. Yeah, thank you. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Yep, 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 yep. You're oh. fucking dead. Oh, <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you should. Can you have done level one there or something? Oh! Don't you dare throw a fireball in my face. The fuck do you thought you think you were doing? The fuck do you think this is? It's our fucking. Scoom? <laughs> what do you think this is? Think you're just gonna whiff a fireball or throw a fireball in my. F oh, fuck. Adam, I have, I have to let you know, yeah, I just up? went for a level three the first time today and got it. I nice. don't think I've had one of those Fuck, yet. Let's go, gamer. Oh, is that? Wow, what a punish. Yeah. Oh, your sweep is fucking highly punishable. Like, did you know Marisa can block Eve sweep and hit stand heavy punch at any range and still punish you? Yeah, oh, wow. Okay. That is. You got to be careful about that one. Yeah, I, uh, apparently. Geef is... Uh, uh, very good. Yep. Ooh, my goodness. <gasps> Wow, that was very good. Who's Matt Griffiths? I think Matt's JK. Ah, I just JK? I am I am willing to die on the hill that Paul is JP. Paul is JP works. It works yeah. really well. It's just too good. What are you doing? He's donkey kicking your ass. You can DI. Fuck oh. you. Sorry, didn't mean to get it too. <laughs> uh, you can DI it too if you want. Fuck. Nice whiff punish. Fuck, that was militant. That was great. What the fuck? Fine. <laughs> that does so much damage. Holy shit. They're gonna do it again. Ah. Uh, yeah. You wanna see them doing that? Little like duck, 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 duck. Yeah. They're buffering. Oh, okay. You can tell they're go they're looking for I, a jump. I didn't mean to say fuck you. Okay. That's alright. I got a little No, heated. fuck him. Oh, no. Fuck him. No, no. Ah, uh, you were spitting. Whoa. Nice. Well, yeah, fucking respect my level three. You're not gonna respect it? Then I'll make you respect it. That's what you get, it's our. <laughs> you deserve that one. I've never seen somebody deserve a level three more than that one right there. <laughs> oh, wow. It was that. Oh, God. <laughs> There's one more. Oh. Oh, four, brother. Sorry, I truly didn't mean to be disrespectful. I got you. I... No, I would have meant it. Oh, no, no, no. I got I'm, it. I'm here to cause some drama. Let's go, dude. I mean, to, in their defense, it is a good, like, spacing tool, but it has counters. But it's good, like, especially it's, it's annoying, right? You're not willing to be at least a little disrespectful. What's the point of playing a fighting game, right? Oh, 
guys. Yeah. Come on. Dead. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Look, I've been disrespected. Pl oh, that's punishable. Yeah. I've been disrespected by, disrespected by plenty of people. Dude, I still will remember the time that I was playing Todd, Todd Von Himmel, and they fucking EX butt slammed and then command grabbed me like five times in a row. And I'm like, yep, you know what? Fuck, I deserve that. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, the, oh, that's what's happening. And your D-pad broke? Yeah. Uh, Karma. Yeah. I didn't want to say it out loud, you know, but I was thinking it. <laughs> I was like, that's for the fucking butt slam and the command grabs, you motherfucker. I mean, oh, man, that sucks. I hope it gets Ooh. fixed soon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited to see who they announce for season two. It'll be interesting. I don't really care either way. I think I'm, oh, anybody they, they've been shit. all these DLC characters have all been so good that I, I'm really not worried. Oh, block level three. Yeah. Viper Viper would be even. Yeah, Viper would be sick. Can you imagine Viper uh, in this it. game? Oh. That uppercut didn't work. Nice TI. <sighs> My finisher. I gotta take a break. All right. I gotta take a break. That was way intense. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Earned it. You earned it. I have gotten a lot better. Yeah, you have. <sighs> I'm dizzy. Bum, bum, bum. What do I want to play? Racer or Ed? No, do more Ed. Oh, this is going to be bad. I don't want to play the mirror, though. Oh, God. Oh, Stress fuck. perks. Excuse yeah. me. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll, I'll get a game with Man in the Mask. They, they asked. Oh, yeah. They've been asking for that they for did. weeks. Yeah, I'll, I'll get one in. I have been practicing at least a half an hour every day. Yeah? yeah for the past two weeks. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's not my DP. Oh, no. How do you play this character? Oh, fuck. I'm fucking dead. It's not Marisa. Oh, no. Oh, it's not Marisa. It's, it's Coach Heavy Punch. So much easier in training mode. Oh. Oh. Oh, what do I do there? Shit. Oh no. Whoa. Oh no. Oh no. Help. <laughs> like, I don't know how to play this character. It's so bad. Oh, that got stuff. A little vitamin C to help oh, save I the nervous it. system. Your mind. Oh, what happened to my drive gauge, by the way? I don't know, but I'll still do that. I think I won't. Oh, the jab missed. Oh, yeah. Got a fireball. We're good. It's really, truly. Oh, I missed my standing medium punch. Fuck. That's unfortunate. And I'm... I'm well past the... 
if they keep doing the same move over and over again, calling it cheap. Like, if I keep calling for it, that's on me. <laughs> it's cheap, though. Oh, that's not what we wanted. And I got to use Thunderstorm, which always makes me happy. Oh, fuck. Nice parry. Oh, that's probably punishable. Oh, not that. Nice. Oh. By the way, gaming. I usually get direct deposit, so I didn't. Oh, you meant the. I didn't. Oh. Oh. That's not Marisa. <laughs> Fuck. That was Ed. He's hard. I'm. I'm definitely struggling. Oh, I was mashing. Why did I mash stand heavy punch? I think this is a character that will take me a while to. Uh... Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, that was a bad time to drive rush, brother. Oh. I think. Oh, am I dead? Hell of a dead dude. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I definitely don't think this is a character that I can just like pick up and fucking be good with. Malachi, I just watched you play a full set that like went to nine. How come it took you four rounds oh. to wake up? Like I'm, I'm on like really close match, really close match. Like we play like two and two, and oh. then and then the last two rounds, Malachi is just like, actually, my little kid sister had the controls for the last four matches. I'm just gonna start bringing a full like full ass bento to these things. Went through so many damn calories on this stream. Excuse me. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, fuck. Can you not punish anything with that? Oh, I didn't do it in time. Final round. I just had backward and flipped the switch. Yeah. It's <laughs> oh, I did the wrong one. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, I fucking parried. <laughs> 
Why did I parry? Did the wrong strength of the... I guess... Oh. Not nice. I did I fucked up the level two again. It wins. Is he fun though? Yeah, he's fun. Yeah. He's he's got very cool, satisfying combos. And this button is fucking so much fun to hit. Which one? Oh fuck. Um Hard Punch? This one, oh fuck. Hell yeah. My DP's gotta be better though. Oh shit. I guess I can't do two of those. Oh, that sucks. I hit. I'll keep jumping. Oh. Oh, <laughs> drive parry, drive parry. You mash there? Fuck me. I need to go into like autopilot. Oh. Oops. I did charge heavy knuckle. Oh, fuck. Help, I'm getting mixed. Oh. <laughs> I fucking draw. I was burnt out. Every time I play a new character, I'm like, I should just go back to playing Marisa. <laughs> you know, because the struggle is fucking real, dude. Mash medium punch there like four times. Oh. I played two rounds against Maokai where it was like, this is close. Things are coming along. And then I played three rounds against Maokai where it feels like Maokai oh, can I... see three seconds into the future, knows <laughs> exactly what I'm going to do, and offers up the perfect retort. Yeah, man. I oh. hate rounds like that. Nice. Ooh. Punches me in the middle of my flash knuckle. Beats my anti air. Oh, oh. Okay, you can do this out on. Get set, Lana. Okay, well played. Well played. Ooh. Oh, dragon fire. I didn't mash parry there. Oh. <clears throat> Fighting game, baby! I'm not plus there. Oh. Oh, I fucked it up. Oh, that cross up didn't hit? That's wild. Wait, what? Let's do this. I don't know. I looked at my drive gauge and I was like, brother, I am suffering. Oh. Ooh. Spent all this time working on stuff and training. I haven't done a single one yet. That's too far for that to cross up. Oh shit, wrong one.
Oh, I fucked it up. Oh, I fucked up again. Oh. Oh. Oh, I DP'd, dude. I DP'd, I DP'd, I DP'd. <laughs> My favorite part of these streams are you doing the voice lines and sound effects. <laughs> like, truly. <laughs> oh. Oh. Fuck. Yeah, I'm never ready for these jumps. Oh, I hit medium kick. Is that what I'm hitting? I, don't, I think I'm hitting medium kick. That's not an anti-air. Oh, fuck. Whoa. Oh, fuck. Oh, help. Oh. I meant to go DI. I think I went to DI the Lariat, and then I hit parry by accident. <laughs> and I fucking died for it. That hit? Yeah, I uh, was... Did you see me parried briefly there? Oh, you are so lucky. Oh. Oh no, he just walked backwards. Oh, fuck. Oh. Try to challenge it. Oh no. Help. Help. Help me. Help me. God, dude, I'm so like uncomfortable on this character. Ooh. Oh, I fucked it up. Waited, I guess. Jacob, have you heard of the driving school tournament yet? I have not. Oh. No way. Nice block. Oh. Dinger, dude. Oh, you're not Marisa. You are not Marisa. Bro. <laughs> the jab, dude. That sucks. I can't believe you were mashing level three there. That sucks, dude. Cool jabs, yeah. <laughs> that sucks, dude. Alright, let me feed. Uh... I'm playing one more. Alright. <laughs> hey, you have to play two in a row. <laughs> yeah, all right, that's fair. <laughs> Good problem to have. Yeah. I should have realized that geek players are almost in any hit string. They are just. <laughs> they are. <laughs> they are doing this, brother. Sure, and butter. Like... Oh no. Oh no. I tried. Oh, help. I'm getting fucking mixed. Nice block. That's not the punish we want. Finger. Ed's not a twink. There's no way Ed's a twink. Keep getting jumped at. Oh, it's supposed to be medium punch. Have you dodged the command grabs again? It's jumping, right? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Oh, cool jabs. Oh, no. Dude, um... Stand heavy kick being the, um... Jesus. I'm just getting ran at. Oh, well, it's a learning process. It'll take me a while to get comfortable. 
I'm like trying to react to things, but I don't even know what I'm reacting with. I don't think I've hit stand heavy kick like once. I can't do that twice. Oh. Up parrying. I don't know about that one. I, that was like across the screen. Yeah, that one was... Yeah, I did it. Bro. There's no way this is working right. Oh, you are fucking lucky. Bro. Dude, everything I'm doing is like not working out. Oh, shit. Oh, I hit stand heavy kick. You heard the button. Yeah. <laughs> like, I hit it. You heard the fucking snap. This new cami outfit, I can't tell when she's doing a DI. Like, I can Bro. tell after, but like not at the oh, beginning. Adam. Mm. Oh, Adam. Oh, get another try. Bro. <laughs> Don't do it. Get out of here. Stop that. I missed it. Brother. You gotta be kidding me. Stop it. Nice jump. Oh. Bro. Dude, come on. You ever just drop combos and you just get fucking level three because they're just, I would love to see the inputs. Holy shit, dude. They are churning, dude. Oh, I tried to. Everybody says it's funny, but it's not me. Yeah. Oh. Goodness gracious. Give me Marisa back. Bro, what? Yeah, I'm getting geefed right now. I'm getting geefed. I'm getting fucking geefed. There's like three, you have three options. They do jump, they do wheel kick, or they DI. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, I wish I knew. Oh, I did the wrong one again. That sucks. Oh, the DI. Oh. oh, I was scared of a fucking churned level three again. Punish. Nice check. Oh. Thanks, Dragon Flare. Dude, how did that medium punch miss? That's so wild. Oh my god. I shouldn't have played Geef. Why didn't that wall crash? No, I missed it. Bam, bam. 
I'm mashing. I'm burn up. Oh, I could have DP'd there probably. Oh, I tried. Oh no. Ooh. Hey Fluffy, a skinny pig, welcome. Um, it's not Luke, actually. It's a new character that um, shows off their arms and punches a lot and has a monosyllabic name. No, Dragon Flare, go ahead. I'm uh, I'm on break. <laughs> Instead of sand up, up his sleeves to throw at his enemies, uh, this character has like a little whip. It makes a soup 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 noise. He's uh pushing soup, if you will. Feeding the people a flurry of blows. Nice. I tried to DI it, but I think. Now I just want to make soup. <laughs> oh, nice jabs, you. Oh. Oh, wrong button. Yukon's got to figure it figured out. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure Ed will have their own funny voice lines that will mess up eventually. I mean, I'm not sure about. Oh no. Oh, wrong button. Fucking custom combo. Let's go, dude. <laughs> <laughs> good, good oh, Jesus Christ. Hashtag get there, dude. Thing is, if I drop that combo, I'm fucked. Oh. Siberian Express. Oh, Larry, it sucks. Oh. You what? Yeah, I deserve that. Oh, I fucking whiffed. Oh. So weird, like when I'm on a new character, dude, I freeze up so many times. I'm like thinking about like all the things I got to do. Oh, that ant is. Nice. Oh, I would like to ant here or something. You're mine. Oh. No, my feet. Why did I jump? <laughs> Why am I doing this? 
Oh, I hit the eye, dude. That sucks. Oh. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Time to hustle. I shouldn't have done that. Fuck, I should have done like level one or something. That was dumb. Now I got no CA, brother. <laughs> oh no. I have no level three. I didn't look at the rounds or anything when I hit. Because usually I'll take like a, yeah, a, yeah, a loop little, around the yeah, screen and yeah. I'm like, what do I got to do here to... No, I definitely started doing that since you like brought that up like yeah. as a technique. Yeah. Nice block. Oh, that sucks. What the hell was that? Oh, I got empty jump level three. <laughs> I deserve that. God, dude. Why can't I anti or anything? What a whiff punish, by the way. Bro. Oh. God, I'm so scared of... Oh, I can't do that. Wish my pokey situations were better. One day I'll react to that. Sucks. Oh, it's fucking good. Okay, okay. So punishable. Oh, it's the wrong one, I think. Ain't no way you mash there. Oh, didn't mean to do Superman punch. Fuck. I die for that, right? Yeah, I had to believe you weren't going to level 3 there. <laughs> or you tried to. <laughs> like, 1, 2, 3. No way. Oh yeah, your plus. Your Omega plus there. In there too, huh? Oh, I wonder if I can. I'm plus one there. Oh, jabs, bro. Time to hustle. No fucking shot that missed. Oh, that's so heartbreaking. Are the new matchmaking systems any better? I don't actually know. What what do they change? I don't know, fuck. I'm not sure. Me neither. Oh. Did the wrong one again. Fuck. My loyal fans. Man, that's so fucking heartbreaking. 
I keep doing fucking medium super instead of light. And uh Nice. That shit sucks. Oh you motherfucker. God dude. Alright. Oh no. Oh no. No. GG's, 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 GG's. I don't know what I'm doing on that character. You still did great. That is going to take me many hours of playing against people to actually even get to the point where I'm comfortable and anti-airing every time because Jesus Christ, dude, I was thinking about... <sighs> I was thinking about jumps. To kill all Eds. Well, I wouldn't go that far. All right, let's pump the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> You're sent from the future to mash level three during a hit string. <laughs> let's, let's, let's. <laughs> uh. Right. What? So this character, I've I've played against them once. And, uh, yeah, I'm familiar with a few of their moves. Is there, like, a big advantage to playing it? Like, do they bring something that sort of um, mechanically is exciting and different for the game? What do you mean, Ed? Ed, yeah. Yeah, um, the, the, that's new, like, today, right? Generally with, like, no, it's new on Tuesday. It's new this week. Um, generally okay. with... Since lots of yeah. Um, new characters, oh. they do tend to, like, at least change the meta a little bit in that Ooh. they could be a real bad matchup for i mean if we're looking at it from like a purely competitive standpoint then these new characters generally bring in that potentially what could be a very bad matchup for somebody at the top tier or a couple top tiers right so oh, right it does upset the ecosystem a little bit but it also just gives people a new character to find their niche like if people have been struggling in this game right maybe Oh, I did not get the maybe Ed's the one, there. right? Bum, 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 bum. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Ah, that was a miss input. Ah, oh, sorry, man. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. How are you doing, Nelson? I haven't watched you play yet today, so. He had a pretty good match against. I haven't heard you fucking complaining. I mean, not complaining. Complaining is a shit word to use, but I haven't heard you, like, frustrated with anything, so. I've been Seems like you're just hard. Up. You're hard vibing. You're just kind of playing. Oh, <laughs> you know. I uh, no, no, no. I like super tilted out in the last match. I oh, played, played two you? matches. Uh, well, sorry. it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, no, it's fine. I had two matches. Uh, one was pretty close, and then I played against Dragon Flare, and yeah. they absolutely served me. Yeah. And so I took a few minutes and just watched your game, and now I'm yeah. playing a ranked match. Oh wow! Getting into the ranked minds, huh? Well, the thing about ranked is there's other people in like, silver. Yes. We don't have too many of those in the old Okie Not, Okie not really, no. Oh, a lot of the people that are ton. here now aren't very new anymore, you know? Right. Or eight months in, right? Like. Right. I'm seven and a half months due to quit this game, uninstall it, and throw my arcade stick in the seat. Well, don't do that. That's my arcade stick. Yeah, I won't. I won't. But, you know, like, for, <laughs> that for you know, it's a comedy show. Yeah. That thing's a Cadillac. You never throw that thing out. Right, yeah. I don't want the fish to have to, like, deal with this thing in there culture in their climate because, yeah like, it's never gonna die no i mean it's a cadillac and that it's like a rare they, they don't make those anymore and yeah i know, yeah. I know. I, i'm not gonna throw your arcade stick in the seat. especially now that it's ian fixed it does it have you noticed it actually joke? i have noticed no problems with yeah it whatsoever. that's sick yeah, actually yeah. actually it almost makes me want to use that stick i love that stick i love the buttons i love everything about it that stick rules nice. dude that uh anyways, is... but... sorry go yeah, ahead paul Apologies first upon my place today. I forgot who you were, but we had a great... Oh. No. All right. 
Yeah, those are the two I have. The SF4 Mad Cat sticks. I have the 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 base one, the TE edition. I should get Ian to look at that one. One of the buttons is actually the button. One of the buttons used to be. Have you ever noticed a problem with medium punch on that? Not yet. Hmm. Has it been sticky before or something? I just started playing two weeks ago and you're too intimidated. I mean, I can't tell you to get over Fair. that, but it's trust oh, me. It's, what the fuck it's way that? easier once you start playing. It seems like, oh, I'm just going to die over and over again. And you are. <laughs> I'm not going to sugarcoat it. People are going to kill you, but you have to be in love with the process, right? If you want to play them and get better what? or just learn how to play in a, I mean, everyone here is pretty chill. Like no one's. I know that it, when you're new and you play somebody and you get just washed by them, it's hard not to think like they're judging you. I promise you they are not, <laughs> you know? That's fair, actually. I will say that. I'm not going to agree with you that it gets easier after yeah. you start trying. I haven't experienced that. Yeah. But uh, I will say that all of our community absolutely washes me week in and week out, and no one's a dick about it. Yeah, no one is. I don't That's think I've ever jump. seen, even the entire time I've been playing, at least especially with like... Any community that I'm closely related with, I've never seen anybody be a jerk over anything fighting game related so far. So I actually expected it to happen at some point, but it hasn't yet. So, right. You've met some, some mean people on tournaments, but that's, yeah, I've met like in the wild. Right. But that's just any game, right? You're going to meet people that are mean in the wild, but The only thing that I don't really like when you're a new player and there's like a experienced player, if they do like, I don't know, something they know that you're dying to. And with like the, I think the idea is that they want you to learn how to beat it, but it literally, it only just ends up frustrating you even more, right? Without being able to tell you like how to beat it. <laughs> and even if they told you how to beat it, like you might not be able to put that in action. Yeah, ranked oh, anxiety is. I rarely ever play ranked anymore. I just play in lobbies. Like, I want to start playing ranked more, but I'm more just kind of finding my niche in fighting games, which is just kind of chilling. <laughs> I'll always lose to, like, I mean, people that are better than I am, right? Like, I don't. If I was, like, really, oh, really trying to get a lot better at fighting games, I don't think just doing what I'm doing right now is enough. You know what I mean? But I'm fine with it. Dynamite. What? I don't know. I've never learned an instrument before. Instrument before, so I, I know I've had people compare it to that, but I don't. I can't relate. Nope. When you started, your friend would tell you the level one counterplay to his stuff, and then immediately start doing the counterplay to that. Yeah, that's the fighting game classic. Yeah. I don't know. When I play against like a really new player. I'll just like do things where oh, like no. I'll practice things that are like very base level but good yep. fundamentally like with punishing or something you know and then that's it I'll just chill like and then I'll crank it up if I notice they're getting a little comfortable or whatever but I'm not gonna like you know knock them down and then fucking drive rush fucking twerk all over them and then kill them right you know what I mean huh. but I will I will with punish them I don't just like softball it to them but you know what i mean i'll command grab them a couple times <laughs> just with the you know make them aware but ah, balls. yeah i know a lot of people like what? i don't really like playing in like discord i don't know i get really distra i have a real hard time concentrating when there's multiple things going on which is kind of ironic considering i'm a streamer <laughs> you know but i do get oh. real fucking i get real com like discombobulated if there's too much going on and if there's someone talking to me and then or if there's people talking about ah. different things while i'm playing i'm like I, my brain just shuts off Yeah, how to learn. I don't know, like, learning is like, it depends how much you want to learn too, right? Like, 
Oh, I'm kind of happy where I'm at, like right now. Anyway, at this point, in my like right now for now, I'm happy where I'm at with fighting games. Where I'm just like I play them and I stream them sometimes, and then but I enjoy them, right? I'll never be the best in the world with that. You know what I mean? Like, but that the way I play them doesn't. Not that I think I could be the best in the world. You know what I mean? Though it's like I could be okay. I just want someone to be like, yeah, you're pretty solid. <laughs> you know, not you're perfect. Pretty solid. But I just want someone. I just want to be solid, knowledgeable. I guess or. Hmm. I strive towards confidence. Hmm. What's up? No, I'm just thinking. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm just working through what I lost to. Yeah, English. I'll be honest, I was talking to Twitch chat, so yeah, I, I, know. Wasn't, yeah, I didn't really pay attention I get too it. much it's to totally what was cool. going on. That's fine. Yeah, I could get that. I feel like that was about a lot of competitive games where it's like you... Um, that's what it looks like a lot of the time. <sighs> That was rough. That was a rough set. Here comes a new challenger. Oh, that was a rough set. Poison's on the menu. I'll take on all of you. Oh, this would be fun. I haven't really fought Aki before. Oop. Yeah, it's okay. Like, I mean, the the purpose of the show is to like teach you the nitty gritty and everything else. But I've definitely scaled it back a little bit, and I just want you to learn as much as you're happy with, right? Like, I just want you to play fighting games and have fun with it, and be like, oh, that's a neat interaction, or I did the cool thing, right? I think that's a safe jump. Pretty sure that's a safe jump. I I couldn't even tell you when they jumped, man. There was so much going on. Fighting games, baby. Uh, they will feel overwhelming in situations like that. Bang. Oh, oh no. Why like does that. Ken's basic throw take up the whole map? No one else's throws take up the whole map. I like how you call it a map. Yep. <laughs> nope. What that do you work? call it? A stage. A stage. Oh, wow. Yeah. wow, you theater buff. <laughs> yeah. Look at you. Let's go to the Broadway musicals together, Adam. Holy shit. Light it up. Are you talking shit to me? I just I'm not. I'm not. Love it. It's weird to call it a stage. No, isn't it? it's a Maybe stage. That's what, that's all the what, that's what they are all called. Stages. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's a map me. from now on. Yeah. It's not a map. your choice. It's not You're your a choice. Valorant player you though. That's why you called it a map. Well, I called things maps back when I was a StarCraft player. Uh, ah, yes. you were but a StarCraft Valorant also player. Has maps. I wouldn't picture you as a back StarCraft player. Day. That's because I was really bad at it. Oh. <laughs> that's okay though. You enjoyed it, right? I do. No, I still enjoy it, actually. Well, I like that. That was one thing I, I know I was never. I played a little bit of Warcraft 3, like ranked back in the day, and I knew I was dog shit at this. So I was like, I. And I was like so young that I. not. I wasn't so young. I was like in my early 20s. But I was like, nah, I don't think I know how to learn this, you know? And then obviously YouTube wasn't a thing, you know? Learning before YouTube was. And streaming was pretty much impossible. <laughs> I mean. Teachers everywhere <laughs> hurting, but you know, fair, honestly. Yeah. Well, imagine I mean, trying to learn how to do sorry, something learning before. video games, learning video games pre YouTube and pre streaming was very hard. Uh, a I missed a bunch quarters. of subs, Mr. Gibberish. Hey, thanks for the 32 months. Uh, yeah. Led Ogre, thanks for the 51 month resub. Watching me grind matches last week was a bunch of fun. What, Tekken? Let's call them play matches. Dude, Tekken's a hard game, dude. Fuck. That one. That one can be very... That's like... That game frustrates me more than any other fighting game I've ever played. That one is... It's fun, but it's frustrating. Uh, Lurker Spine, thanks for the 100 biddies and uh, Master Underhill. I think that's what it is. Thanks for the 4 months we said. Oh. oh, what is happening? Yeah, Tekken's fun. Oh, you're getting, you're getting knockied, brother. Whoa. That's a mix. 
strike throw, brother. You can do it, I believe. Man, I just got thrown in a KitchenAid. Yeah. Yeah, Tekken's fun. I really enjoy it. But oh. when you play somebody that's better than you at Tekken, oh, no. it is the worst experience. <laughs> Oh man, that's a it's a bad one. It also doesn't help that I picked a character that generally is considered pretty hard, so but I don't want to use that as an excuse, right? Oh. Oh no. That's punishable. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Oh no. Remember, oh, Ooh. you mash there, you're a fucking madman. You're in burnout. She was probably at least plus, or <laughs> I would imagine she's plus, but you know, worked out. Oh, I definitely wouldn't have mashed there. I would have died though, and nope. you lived, so really, you're the genius. Until uh, it doesn't work, yeah. Until it doesn't work, and you know, what the fuck hit me? Well, you were mashing. <laughs> uh, Fluffy is guinea pig. Thanks for the 85 month there. I wouldn't say I've built it. I mean, Jacob and Nelson and Wheeler and Ben are all had a hand in it, right? This is not my work. I'm part of it, but oh. I'm definitely oh. not the reason. And a lot of you too, right? Like, takes a takes a village, oh. right? Yikes! I'm just oh. glad everyone's remained incredibly chill and welcoming and not been a jerk to anybody that I've heard of, or at least, you know, been made aware of. So. Yeah, kudos to everybody oh, in the Fight Club scene for, like, being awesome. Yeah, they're pretty chill. Yeah. Hockey wins. Hockey. <laughs> We're all waiting for the big heel turn. <laughs> from oh. me or from anybody? Just somebody? Anybody. Somebody's going to have turn. a heel turn? Yeah. yeah. Somebody's right. just going to start... Nelson's going to turn out to be the villain. Of those oh, that'd be so that. fucking funny. Holy shit. I mean, I'd be disappointed, but I would laugh if you turned out to be the fucking one that was like, God, these fucking mashers, get out of my fucking, get, just go fuck yourself. <laughs> fucking stop mashing! <laughs> and you I mean, just if all I have to do is whine them. about everybody and, yeah, act yeah. like a big baby, I Ooh. think I could pull that off, actually. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wait. Is that a low hit? I think I need to look up a little bit more about how armor works on the bear grab. It's uh, two hits, or if it's a low, they just eat it. Yeah, Does Aki just like, like have that condition where no. your joints are like not, they, they all like Fuck. flex too far. Oh, good tech. And you make like way too much collagen. <laughs> Say again, Nelson, I'm fucking... There's, sorry, there's yeah. like a there's like a medical condition that this uh, drag queen Evie Audley has, yeah. which I learned about from watching RuPaul. But, uh, like, They're oh, wow. There. They're yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Kara Chickenite Chickonis. I don't know if that's right. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Um, no, it's like, yeah, it's really related to hypermobility, but there's like a oh, no. girl, like it's named after some doctor. Nice it's like a Thank situation you. where all of your, all of your joints basically go too far, but then also you're like, oh, no. You end up with a bunch of pain basically in those joints. That was a good jump by them. HEDS, and it may, that might be right. Right soon. I don't know if Nelson's hard to hear, but I'm turning the game down in Nelson oh, hey. a little bit. Just cause... Ellers Danlow Syndrome. There we go. That, yeah, you sound way better. Points. My bad. I should have turned that up a long time ago. Jesus. Uh, all good. All good. But yeah, does does Aki just have Ellers Danlos? <laughs> I don't think so. Hyper Guard says she's a snake. <laughs> He is the snake. Oh, is that the yeah. case? Oh. Is, is she a snake? In the well, she thinks she's like she. There was a character named Fong in Street Fighter Five, and he was a weird little poison man. And uh, this is her student or his student. Sorry. Yeah, okay. She's in love with him too, right? I think she's like, she's like super obsessed with Fong. And she uses snake kung fu. Yeah. Aki shrimps for him. It's Trimple. <laughs> Will it Krill? Oh. She's a cool character, though. Oh. 
I mean, every character in this game is cool. I don't mind watching any of these characters. Unpopular opinion, I think watching Luke is fun. I think Luke has a lot of really cool stuff. I... cool. Oh, that was a hell of a... Oh, I thought that was a whiff punish. Fuck. That would have been a wild whiff punish. Level 2 oh. might not be fast enough. Nice. I'm gonna die to poison though, I think. You can't die to poison. Oh, yeah. you can't? No, you cannot oh, die great. to poison. Beautiful. You can take you to it one won't. hit point. It won't yeah. ever take you to the last hit point. Yeah, it will never kill you. That'd be so stupid. This character would be busted. <laughs> she would be obnoxious. No one would want to fight her ever. Her theme is such a fucking banger, too. Ooh, whoops. Ooh, what? Hmm. Oh. Round three, Ali? Like, Alibaba? Or Ali... Oh. God, who am I thinking of? Who's the... Oh, right, we were talking about Capcom Cup a few weeks ago. Uh, I haven't seen any of it. Dang it. Minor spelling mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I watched Capcom Cup. It was good. Top 16 was a banger. I don't know. I thought it was really good. It's a shame that they played the JP theme for like seven and a half hours. But, you know, <laughs> it's pretty much the only knock on the whole thing. God, dude. I'm, I used to like the JP theme and now I don't. Like, mwah, they just, <laughs> they just yeah. played it for every match, whether JP Every was there commercial or not, right? break was, and anytime there was any like transition, it was JP, dude. Mwah. Sometimes they played Marisa's theme. But, uh, you know, other than that. Wow, that was a hell of a check. Holy shit. Oh. Yeah, they played it too much, but it was good. I thought, I don't know, man. Ooh. A lot of people have a lot of complaints about this version of Street Fighter VI, but for a first season, I think it's... As a spectator, it was still very good. Like, some of those matches and some of those rat sets were just ridiculous, dude. Like, they were very good. Oh, punish that. Oh. Oh, my God. Like, if we think about how bad this could have been. I mean, look at the current video games landscape where we are all very critical of every little thing in every video game, right? Pretty good, dude. Most of the characters are like, from a competitive standpoint, like most of the characters are competitive, viable, you know? There's some that struggle, but I mean, that's gonna happen. I mean, could you balance a fighting game? Fuck no, you couldn't. <laughs> you know, let's be honest, right? Be truthful. Dude, yeah, that's what I was, I was like. Imagine with this game in like season oh. four, it's gonna be a fucking banger, dude. <laughs> it's like, oh, mm -hmm. grand finals was almost Rashid versus Jury. Okay, well, yeah. I haven't heard no. much about those two characters. So oh, they're both cool. very good. Rashid is absurd. Yeah. Jury has always been good. <clears throat> Rashid is a character that has. Historically, even in Street Fighter V, he was real bad at the launch of Street Fighter V. And then, like, around Season 2 or Season 3, they buffed the shit out of him, and nobody still played him, and he was fucking absurd. And this same kind of thing happened, where, like, Rashid got released, people played him for a couple days, and then they're just like, eh, whatever. But then everyone, the people that stuck with him were like, wow, this character's cracked in half, dude. Oof. Yeah. I don't know, I've never touched him, so I don't know how hard he is to play, but I imagine he's pretty tough. But he's very good. He's a very good character. Not a lot of weaknesses, right? A lot of strengths. No character is going to be, like, perfect. Unless you're Luke, right? I guess. <laughs> Luke's, like, definitely... I mean, Chun's pretty obnoxious, too, but she's hard to play. So you don't see a lot of her... There's a lot of Aki players in this, like, Ooh, in our no. community, too. Oh, I... Seems like Geefs, Akis. Cammy. 
and camis are the big three, I would say. Obviously, everyone's trying Ed right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if, like, imagine, like, I think even if Rashid didn't have his level two, I think everyone would be like, yeah, this character's still really good. And they gave Rashid Yassar, and it's just like, bro, Yassar is... <sighs> Yassar is something else, dude. Oh. What a fucking level two. I would argue that most fighting game characters have a depth of decision making, right? Like, I don't think any, a lot of them are very autopilot-y. I don't know. People will tell you that they are, but I think that's just fighting game players being fighting game players. Fighting games just aren't easy at any level, you know? There's lots of decisions to make. Oh. Oh, no, no, I should have done the thing. What? Yeah, milk. That's basically what it amounts to. Yeah. I definitely don't think Marisa is the hardest character. She's hard to play in certain situations, but she's also very strong. Oh. But she does have a lot of weaknesses. Oh, thanks. I think we've talked about it here before, but like she is probably one of the more balanced characters, I think, if you're looking at like what's the baseline in Street Fighter 6, and it's probably Marisa, I would say. Nope. Too far. Maybe she's a little bit better than like what we want everyone to be at, which is like Marisa level. Top three things on toast. Uh, I'm a big fan of just toast oh. with just butter on it. But butter, also, peanut butter, cheese. Fourth is Nutella. Wow. I'm like butter, raspberry jam, and then I don't know, dealer's choice, I guess. Second piece of toast. Yeah. Ooh. Favorite thing on toast is toast. More toast. Add more toast. Coming out. Sunny side up egg. Oh, that's a good call, dude. Oh, I, that's that's hacked. I didn't know we were allowed to choose other things. Yeah, can we just put other things? I put. Yeah, I, like, can, can I, I put say bacon turkey? or avocado? Can I put a turkey on it. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Can I put a full ass sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. Let me put some chocolate cake on my toast. Yes. But seriously, the sunny side up egg is incredible. Yeah, that's a good idea. Now I want egg. I gotta come Damn. back here at five. Maybe I'll just Damn. stay here until Damn. five. Remember when Wheeler was on this show? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Wheeler was having a bad relationship with the game. No, I just wanted to make an egg reference. Oh, yeah. I get it. Eggs. Thank egg. you for the games. Egg. How you doing there, Nelson? Yeah, Soul's beating me up, you know. Yeah. It's fine. More parries? Like, how do you... Man, that's a lot of pressure. Yeah, you gotta block it out. You gotta, like, decide, like, there's a certain point where you can take a throw. Like, it's okay just to not do anything. Is it a knowledge check, too? Because I don't know what's plus and what's not? Because I, I was getting sense, punished a lot. Yeah, in a sense, like, when you are playing defense, a lot of the time, um, you're gonna feel like the more you play defense when you're new and you're learning, I still feel like this. You're going to get stuck in what you think are like way too long of strings or like pressure or whatever. But really, when you think about it, like most pressure, and especially if they're just doing a meaty, it just kind of like stops at like anywhere from three to five kind of hits, right? If they're just doing like from meaty to string to mm -hmm. that's their pressure. Um, obviously, they can mix things up like throws in there, but I think that like... I, I've stressed this to Nelson and Ben and Wheeler too. It's like, when you get knocked down, just hold down back until, and then if they just throw you over and over and over and over again, then that's okay. Like, that's frustrating. You're still going to lose, but I'd rather you just like get used to blocking. Yeah. I, I... But it's like, I've watched you like mash on wake up a billion times. It's like, I understand that it's like, yeah, you're like, you're, you're getting pressured in the corner, but it's like those, a lot of those times with Aki, it's like you hit a button, you hit something and you got hit. And that's like why you're getting hit. It's because you're just like, you're trying to force the issue rather than just like either watching their sequence. And it's like, I'm not gonna, you're not gonna be able to tell the frame data by just like sitting there and blocking, like when they're plus, when they're not, when there's a gap. Cause the thing with Street Fighter five is like, or Street Fighter six, sorry, is like, there's a lot of offensive sequences. Like people are gonna do like button, button, and then another button. And they're actually minus, but only like minus three. 
and try to hit like a bigger button to continue the offense like i'm standing or crouching medium punch or something like that and that's when you can jab to interrupt but you're never like you're not going to know that like baseline but it's like you have to be willing to just hold down back and just like accept the consequences of getting thrown and just see like what people are doing it's like you just have to like i don't think i don't think there's any defense is the hardest thing to learn in fighting games and it's not remotely close offense is easy i knock them down i go i turn green and then i fucking he he hoo hoo and then i hit my buttons but like defense is like you're on the other end now they are the knock down he he hoo hoo turn green you know plus frame plus frame plus frame plus frame and you're like there it can't it's not all plus i guarantee you it's not all airtight especially at our skill level right but you have to be willing to just hold down back and just because like when you watch somebody here uh Let me show you something i'm gonna unplug your controller And again, a lot of this stuff is like, you're not gonna be able to recreate it in uh training mode. Nobody join this match, please and thank you. Um, Marisa. But it's like, I can give you examples of Marisa and then that's pretty much it. Um, but that's all I can really do because that's all I know, sorry. Um, so when you're like blocking, right? You're in the corner they're doing they're still doing oops fuck i hit every wrong button uh all right so let's say we're playing fuck can i do something like uh i throw you or whatever a lot of like marisa's like offensive pressure is something like that like most people are only going to get stuff like that right and obviously this is again this sucks because in fighting games people are going to do stuff like this right but you have to watch for, I mean, that's a part of the fun of fighting games is conditioning your opponent. Like I'll do a lot of stuff when I'm playing where I'll just do this and then I just watch and see what they do, you know? And that's okay. Again, this is a big thing that I had to learn when I was playing fighting games, when you're on offense, and this is going to be, you can translate this to defense. This is not a failure. You didn't do something wrong. You didn't fuck up just because they block your sequence, right? This is not a failure. This is information. And that's what you're trying to look for when you're blocking someone. Like if I see somebody do something like, uh, fuck, I'm trying to think. I mean, knowing frame data helps, but if I see them doing something like this, right? That's not real. Like what I just did there. Like if I've done, if I decide to do this and you hit like crouching medium punch there, I'm pretty sure I eat shit for it, right? But people, I do this to people. I didn't, I asked for not this. They might not be watching. I'll go out to the training mode. Yeah, I don't think, I'm just gonna walk at them. Please. Yeah, I don't think they're watching. How did they get in here if they're not watching? Watching, yeah, right. Yeah. They're your, are they your friend? Are they like your no. friend on? Uh, no, 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 no. I don't know CFN who this person is, yeah. Here. They no scope are very good password. <laughs> yeah. They're in chat. Um okay. well maybe they didn't hear me. I don't know. I'll just go out. I'll guess I'll leave the room and then I'll come back. This is important to learn because Maybe I'll get to go back. Please, God. All right. So, um, I know this doesn't like, I can't really show the defensive side of this that well, but I'm trying to give you like hints. Like you just have to be able to willing to just sit there and like, just do this and like, just block it. And I mean, obviously it depends on life. Like there's a lot of factors in fighting games that will not say this is a good baseline because a big thing that in a lot of Street Fighter V players would say would just be say take the throw because a lot of damage that you got off like what you get for baiting people to throw tech is like I as a Marisa player I want you to tech throws like that is the one thing that I want you to do so I'll normal throw people a lot right 
but this isn't helping you. So it's like when you're getting pressured in the corner, depending on who the character is, right? Um, most like most knockdowns from like here, right? I mean, plus 23, like I can, I have to drive rush after my normal throw, but like, you know, there's options like that. There's options like, oops. You just have to be willing to block. I can't even do my overhead anymore. So it's like, I don't even think that's real. Like that's not real. Like there's certain, like, again, you're not going to know every situation, but you just have to be, you have to be willing to block. And a lot of thing you got to re remember too, is a big thing about Street Fighter Six, and they did this on purpose. A lot of normal moves, we've talked about this before, a lot of normal moves without drive rush canceling or anything are minus on block. So it's like, obviously like chained together. Like, I mean, you should know, most people know, but maybe you don't know, Maurice's jabs, if you do two of these in a row, this is a good like baseline for like trying to figure out how this game works. Um, if you block, she can't do two jabs in a row. And that's how this game is built. Like a lot of these strings that you're experiencing, like, I mean, you're just like, I mean, you're wake up, you're panicking, but blocking is okay. Like blocking is kind of good because like the sustained pressure that people get, it doesn't go on forever. It's like a, it's a short sequence and it's scary, but it's not, it is not as like um, airtight or like it doesn't lead itself to, without spending bar, people aren't going to continue this pressure, you know? And it's like things like this, like, you know, I can even do like, I mean, that's, but then it changes because that's real, right? That catches the jab, but she can't jab, jab. So you kind of, you do have to watch what people are doing. And again, you will have to know frame data, but you can kind of get an idea of like, if I see somebody, if I see like a, fuck, I can show you. This is a good example. Cause I, I guarantee you a lot of here, this is actually a perfect example. When uh, this shit, yeah, you've probably seen this a ton, right? Yep. So when you are, if I am watching like, uh, does that not work? When is, when would she do triple jab? That doesn't work. Okay, there we go. So. When you do like a, if the Kami does like this, uh, she do like, if they do something like that, and you can see this basic, like look, a block, jab, 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 and then they try to check whatever. If I see this, I just see like, if I keep on seeing them hit a button, I see what I can do. Like if they're trying to like, cause you obviously you can't interrupt the jab, right? Cause you can even check here. Like you can check, you can even try parrying it, right? Like you can check people's cadence. Like we're trying to test, like you got it. You have to be active. This is an active defense game. And by, I know that saying sitting here, hitting down back is, is uh, not active defense, but it kind of is, but you have to know when you can mash, right? Like you have to be able to challenge certain things and certain things you won't be able to do. And I hit, I can hit standing medium kick or crouch medium kick there, right? It's like, obviously I'm not going to get the big reward that I want, but these are situations that you're running into. It's like, it's not that scary. Like, look at what she get. Like, if she's going to do something like this, obviously she can stop and throw, but that's conditioning in fighting games. You're going to have to take that and you have to just see. Sometimes you have to guess. Like, it's just a straight up guess. You have no idea. They could go jab, jab, walk forward, throw. But if they walk forward, then you can probably catch them. But most people, and I guarantee you, we all do it. Everybody has autopilot. I have things that I do in a sequence every time. And I don't really change it up that much, but you just have to be willing to, you have to be willing to take, not the risk, but just to do that to yourself. Cause I know that, oh shoot. Uh, do I sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to follow up. No, you don't try to do what to yourself. Sorry. You just have to be willing to block. Like I know blocking sure. is scaring in this game, but I'm watching a lot of people just die to like, is it this? Yeah, you can do stuff like, you know? But it's like, a lot of people are gonna do stuff like that. Like, especially as camis, a lot of people are gonna do like, you know, that, three jabs and then something afterwards. Maybe they'll try to catch like, 
you can watch what they do afterwards. Maybe they just sit here. Maybe they try to do this, but you're just crouch blocking. So this isn't that scary. And it's also knowing what you have to worry about, right? So it's like, let's say you block this string, you know, um, you block this string and then the cami just kind of sit. This is like good defense is like knowing what you have to worry about at a given time. So it's like they do in, they do something like this. They're here. What do you have to worry about here? Spiral arrow. That no, no one's going to spiral arrow there. That's, they're going to worry about that. You have to worry about this. You have to maybe not even that you have to worry about getting whiff punished with this, right? You don't have to worry about throw from here. They can't do anything. They can jump. They have a couple options. They have not very many options. It's like the amount of options they have is not that many. Holy fuck. Her walk speed is something else, brother. Yep. Holy shit. Okay. So it's like, you know, what are the, what is the cami going to do? They're probably going to try to take up some space, right? Like they're going to do this and then they're going to like, what are they going to do that? Probably you got to worry about that, but you're not worrying about anything. I mean, obviously they jump, but that's reactable. Like you should, like, I mean, you should, I mean, I'm, I'm one to talk, but you can react to this. This is like the least dangerous op option for you to deal with, right? This is the most reactable, right? The hardest stuff to react to is like, you know, like this, like this. It's just knowing, like, I know it's scary when they're like here, they fucking turn into the Hulk and they fucking end up in your face and they're twerking all over you, right? And it's like, yeah, this is scary, but from here, what do they got? Nothing, fuck, you can fight from here. This is, this is still, this is still like you're in the corner and your back's to the wall. And obviously they can do shit like they can do like, you know, this changes again. They can do like this. They can walk backwards. If you try to check them right with the button and they just whiff punish the shit out of you, that happens, but you have to be willing to get to that sequence. And a lot of the time that I'm watching you or Nelson play is you are just doing something on your wake up and eating shit for this. Right. And I would, I would say that like getting thrown. Yeah, it sucks. It's not fun. It's like I was blocking. I was doing what Adam told me to, and it's like, yeah, that's gonna happen. That is not a failure. I'd rather get thrown than just eat shit for, you know, because like you got to think about the risk reward. If you tech, like if they just throw you, and you don't parry or anything, it's twelve hundred damage, right? And then obviously, like, I can even show you, like. So this cami's fucking chilling in the corner and I go like this and they just blocking. They don't, or they they try to parry, right? Like that's the, the wake up options. Like they throw and it's like, okay, well, what happens if, um, I don't throw, you know, you tech the throw and then, you know, all of a sudden fucking something like this happens. Uh, where is it? It's like, you just have to, you have to be real. Like you just, you have to block sometimes and it sucks and it's scary. And I know, a lot of the common, like, um, that's why people are so like, you see how people parry on wake up a lot or right. like supers, DPs, because offense in this game is scary. Nobody wants to fucking deal with it. Nobody wants to. I guarantee you, none of us, I don't want to, but I'll still block. I'll be like, I don't want to deal. I'm Marisa. I don't have much. I got a level two and I got scoot which loses to throws. And if I scoot them and they throw me, I lose two bars of drive gauge. No, three bars. So that's just like, it's the scariest option for me. And it's like, you have to, and a geef, you're in the same position. You can't do shit. You can do level two. That's it. Uh, level that's three. It. Or level three. Yeah. And it's like, that sucks, dude. But that is the life we chose, right? So if I set this cami, it's like, you got, you have to think about risk reward, right? Uh. So if I'm like, if we're fighting and I'm like, I'm fucking, I do something like this, right? You know, like if you try to tech, like look, look at, look what the, the damage difference is like, you have to think about risk reward. That is like number one. I cannot operate these menus today. And it's like, you know, you're, you're, you're talking about like taking, if you're doing like, if I'm doing like a tick throw, like that, right? You're talking about taking 1200 versus like, a, a full on knockdown, like if you try to mash there, right? You eat that, and then all of a sudden it's like, you know, Marisa is just fucking twerking all over you in the corner. So it's just, it's just a matter of like, you have to know the risk reward, and you have to know that like this in the grand scheme is like 1200 damage. It sucks and it adds up. You get thrown like four times in a row. And I guess throw loops exist. So again, that is the thing you have to deal with, right? And people are, if they notice you're blocking all the time, they are going to throw you a lot, but that is the thing that you need to pay attention to. 
and having like an active defense and deciding between wake up parry and just tapping it not hold don't hold it you never want to hold it you gotta you can practice this too i actually spent a bunch of time practicing shit like this like here just a couple days ago um where like what's cami's foreframe or crouching light i think mm -hmm. it's this um if you go in and do something like uh this is really good too and knowing like what you are um so if i do that right marisa's stand heavy punch awesome whiff punisher fucking it's a party starter if you get whiff punished with this like you're taking at least 40 percent i always want to hit this button i hit it way too much and i eat shit for it all the time and i'm really trying to stop but one thing you can do too is like on defense is knowing that frame data but again it's something you do have to worry about again defense this is why defense is hard yeah i've been working on my delay tech and i See think I that can. might be why i'm eating a lot of like shit. that yeah mm. you know and then all of a sudden it's like you know but you just have to be willing to either wake up or like just tap the parry if you think it's a strike just do this on wake up but still hold down back don't like stand don't like you're holding down back and even during block strings you can sit there while they're doing this while they're doing this shit, you can sit there and just like with the time of the and if there's a because there's a, again, this is on purpose. The way they designed this game, nothing is plus on block except for Luke's crouching medium punch. But we're not going to talk about that. There's not many normal moves that are just normal plus on block. Why are they not plus on block? Because they want to leave gaps for you to parry. So it's a good habit to get into of just doing this right mm -hmm. in time of the and again, Fighting games are fighting games, so they can do stuff like if they think you're trying to do that, then they can just do a jab once and you go to parry and then, you know, I spend the whole time just doing shit like this, like conditioning you, right? I do that over and over again because out of that, I can do a bunch of shit. Like I can do, you know, I can do this. Oh, I can't even do that because I'm not even plus enough, right? This isn't a real strike throw. So it's like, again, this is something that you would learn. It's like, oh, so this isn't real for Marisa. Like this, I can jab her out of, but it's scary to want to jab there because you know i could eat a knockdown for it if i guess wrong if i don't think they're gonna go for the throw if i think they're just gonna fucking mash out the block string right and i'm trying to make them think that like again people are gonna do this to you but it, you have to watch what they're doing on defense i know it's hard because fighting games are hard and there's a lot of shit going on all at once but you just have to be willing to like take a second especially in these like room settings where there's like nothing on the line there's no points there's no money there's nothing and again that's easy for me to say you know and it's just like you just need to be able to block and a lot of the time that i'm noticing like, when you get frustrated it's because you are trying to challenge things on your wake up and you don't know what you're challenging or why you're challenging it you know what i mean you just know that there's someone doing this they're coming at you and you don't want to deal with it so you're doing like lariat or spd or something and you're eating shit for it and it's frustrating because you feel like you're like i don't understand why i'm getting hit it's like well you're challenging things that you have no right challenging the reason i'm getting frustrated is because i'm allowing myself to challenge them and i know i shouldn't yeah but that's normal hat that's a normal human thing it's like i am telling you right now that that's normal none of us want to deal with this shit. i don't fuck brother i'll mash you know what i mean but if i eat shit for it i don't complain about it you know what I mean? Not saying that you are, but it's like you have to live with that choice. It's like if you sit here and you're like, fuck, I keep losing. It's like, well, OK, what are you doing on defense? So it's like, OK, well, I'm challenging shit because I don't want to deal with it, but I don't know what that shit is or how it works. So you're going to um, you're going to eat shit for it a lot. And it's like a good thing, too, is like, you know, you can watch out for this parry stuff. Parry just makes everything way harder, especially as your skill level goes up. Mm. As your opponents get better, they're going to do shit like this. If you've ever watched me play Heath, which not, I mean, they have a couple times. He fucking perfect parries me all the fucking time, dude. Like I will do things like even when I'm like, like slightly plus like here, I'll do stuff like this, you know, where I'm plus two and I go to jab and I get perfect parried and I'm like, fuck, you know, it's very good on defense. And it's like really good, especially like in situations where they're only like just barely above, like it's not a, it's not an airtight block string. Cause if it's airtight, then they're not going to parry again. Why this is so powerful when you're in like yeah. a, like if you see like a drive rush button, you can just hold down back and hit a parry button and just see if that works. Cause if you're just tapping it, you're still blocking. You're not going to get punished. You spend a little bit of drive gauge and that's it. 
So it's like incredibly powerful on defense and everybody needs to re it's not foolproof again. I've I was talking about this last night or a couple nights ago where it's like in this community especially I actually just tend to default to normal throwing people on their wake up because everybody seems to fucking be obsessed with this and this. At least in this, like in this environment and what I've dealt with, people are always just doing and again that's active and I want I want them to stop doing thinking about this. And I want them to start doing this, right? And it's again, that's the beauty of fighting games is like you can make somebody stop doing a thing. It does work. And if I want them to stop doing this on their wake up, then I need to like change that up, which is like, you know, on base level, it's just, it's literally just a normal throw or a command grab, but it gets a little deeper when you're like, when you're doing stuff like this and you do like delayed button, like just fuck it. It's probably even less delayed than that, but it's like, it's like that, like delay, like just like, and we're, when I'm, we're, when people say like delayed button, they're talking like two frames, which that's half of that, you know? So, um, half of that startup or that, you know, but again, on defense, you have to be willing to block, but also you can be a little active with it. It's not just block because that's me giving shitty advice, not shitty advice, but incorrect advice because there is so much this game and it's not easy and defense is is the hardest part of fighting games because fucking there's overheads there's fucking throws there's command grabs people could do shit like you know so people will do shit like this like where they'll you know you know when they wake up when they just jump fucking they just neutral jump your ass and you're like you go for a throw attack aware. yeah and you die for it yep. i that happens to me all the time fucking die for it brother you know but even you can see like here like listen to this this is Yeah, so they can't mash like they can't mash out of that. Like, you know what I mean? Like they're trying to challenge that after that. That's real. That's a real this is what they call a frame trap. Where it's like there's a gap big enough for them to hit a button. But not to do anything. But not to do anything, right? If I'm hitting the right buttons. Like if I hit this into medium punch, like nothing comes out, right? You know? Like I'm trying to mash medium punch. Like if I try to take like if I try to hit some real egregious button, right? I have to play button like like offense needs to play by rules too right there's rules there's frame data there's i mean the rules are lenient and there's ways to cheat the rules which is a good example is this like i just cheated the system right i just cheated the system and i can't even do combos right now but again because right here because people will do shit like this to you on offense if they see like you're just kind of blocking or you're trying to perfect parry or, I mean, you're trying to jab with them when you know frame data. Again, you don't know all the frame data, but it's like when she does this, I'm minus three. Like, that's definitely your turn all of a sudden. But this changes everything because this game is done like that on purpose because they need, they wanted, they wanted that. They wanted that exchange. They wanted that conversation to be happening all the time. And I think that's great, but I get that it's frustrating because it's like I don't fucking know it just feels like every time I hit a button I get fucking blue screened and then I die or whatever I get knocked down and I'm back in the same position it's like yeah you got blue screened and it sucks and you got knocked down it wasn't the wrong decision it was just a decision from them that worked out you know like they made a good decision and it's like it's important to know like when they make a good decision and it's easy to get frustrated right I mean like good example today I was like I was getting frustrated playing as Ed versus the Geef right but I was just like I don't know fuck I'll just try to do a couple things that I couldn't do or normally right like again it's just you have to be willing to take and even then I wasn't playing because my care it's a good example too is because I wasn't I'm not comfortable in Ed and I wasn't playing defense I was fucking jumping like I was just like the first thing I was thinking of doing out of that fucking corner was like I'm out of here brother just let me out and they would anti-air me and they're like get the fucking back in there you know it happens to the best of us and that's okay right but you have to you just have to know that this like this is not like the be all end all of um you're not here forever right like in this situation you're not there forever and you know what i'll do sometimes because i'm taking i legit taking advantage of people's like either indecision or just like getting confused i will do shit like this i will do that and i should be eating shit for it you know i'll do that fuck that's like the worst thing you can do it's like i have autopilots you just have to watch what a person's doing i learned a lot actually from playing tekken 
and playing Steve because like a lot of the things you have to do as that character is like you'll do like a button, a single button. And if they block or on hit, even if you hit them, it's like not a real, it's not, you can't combo into it, can't do anything, but you want to watch what they're doing afterwards. You really want to watch what they're doing afterwards. And I really try, I'm trying to get better at that. And that's something I'm still actively working on. And again, it's like, same goes with offense and defense. Like it's easy to be like, okay, I want to do this. I do this in this situation. I have a bunch of canned responses, right? Which is good because everyone autopilots, but you want to, you want to watch. Like if somebody sees me do this, you know, I'm trying to fish again on my end when I'm playing offense. I'm like, okay, well I did this. They didn't do anything. And then I like take a step back and I fucking, you could check too. Like, like things like with Marisa's, like things like this. And I guess it doesn't really translate that well with Geef, but she can do things like, um, like that, you know, and then she can like basically spacing trap you. And like, if they try to hit like a crouching media, like if they try to hit anything there, that's like a long reaching, um, these are things to think about, but it's like, you're not there forever. Like you don't have to hit a button. It's these block strings that you just, you cannot be scared of the block string. That's the kind of the point I'm trying to make. It's like when you're sitting there and you're blocking and you take like three or four hits and then you're like, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. And then it's over and you're like, it stops for a second. And it's like, yeah, there's a lot of times where you're like, you're gonna like eat this block string, right? When you're on defense and then you're gonna be like, oh fuck, it's over. Now what? And then you're gonna like mash a button and they're, they're gonna mash a button at the, just the same time and you're gonna eat shit for it. And you're like, fuck. And you're like, yeah, well, fuck, that sucks. And it's like, yeah, that sucks. It happens to all of us. And you need to either be more patient or especially as Geef on defense, you have to. Like both as a Marisa player and a Geef player, I, I empathize greatly because you have to be patient on defense. And I'm still not, I'm not even close to where I wanna be on defense. And that's something that I, I, like that i like that i get to figure out defense and be better at it and i want to frustrate not frustrate not like frustrate them like i have something against them but i want to frustrate them as a player like fuck i can't i can't get this marisa to bite you know like i'm trying and they're not biting they're just fucking sitting here you know and i come forward and they like i hit a button or whatever and then all of a sudden they're like you'll find a gap and then you're just like buffering a fucking drive rush or some shit you know even just this like this is just like i'll even use something simple like this to fight out right like this is good Gladius is a fucked up move. This is a completely fucked up move that everybody has to respect. And again, Geef doesn't have that. So I can't like when they're in, when we're playing, like when I'm playing defense and I'm like here, right? Like I'm in the corner and I'm fucking sitting here and I'm like trying to think about how to get out of here. Cause my ass does not want to be in this fucking corner. None of us do. We all want to fucking, I want to be, I want to be here. I want to be playing the video game and I want to be having fun, but you need to, earn that because <laughs> you're never going to earn it if you're just wildly mashing on every wake up or trying to challenge everything it's good to challenge sometimes but if you're going to challenge everything then you need to be willing to deal with those consequences which is usually against someone who's good at like uh, not good but just knowledgeable or has a good flow chart good flow chart is what i would say and they have like a oh when i do this you know, I usually go into this and because if they hit a button after this, it immediately leads into a combo or whatever, right? You know? So you just like, you got to be willing to just kind of wait it out and lean on this parry button. This is something that, and especially when you're just in block strings because you can see, you saw it when the, the cami yeah. was jabbing and I was just like, mm -hmm. you just tap, tap, tap. And then you're still holding down back and you're still considered blocking. So it's like. Yeah, that's I've been working on my delay text. Yeah. Like like yeah, for that. But I with don't, delay text I don't too, have them down. Like with delay text too, um a good basic rule of thumb is like uh if you're delay teching. Oh wait, uh we can do something like like that. like this and then we go like that you can kind of like time it with the buttons a little bit you're kind of, i should have used like something that was a bit more like when you're delay teching most people when you watch them they'll just do it like i should use slower buttons but they do it like almost like a split second behind the button mm -hmm. you know so that's kind of how you can sit there and practice it it's a tough thing to really practice but Again, delay teching, I wouldn't be too obsessed with delay teching. I guess it's good and obviously it's powerful, 
but I feel like sometimes that maybe the delayed texts are getting you in trouble because like you're doing a thing where you think it's delayed, but yep. you're just doing it on your wake up. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, and you're eating yep. shit for it. That's yes, why I, I would default just to you're gonna you're gonna notice a lot more, a lot less problems if you just yeah. I, yeah. I'm I'm try. It's it's it, it, like for me a little bit. It's conflicting advice of like yeah. I'd rather see you try something and eat shit for it, and you should block more. Because, yep. you know, when I was blocking a lot, like, I, I got pretty good at that. But now I'm trying to learn a new skill. Like, I just need to internalize and kind of figure out. Or at least try not to get frustrated when I'm trying to learn something new. Yeah. Because, like, I'm going for things that aren't optimal because I'm trying to learn how to do meaties more. Yeah. Like, the, the slam down throw. Yeah. Like, when I could do level two into, like, my reset combo and things like that. Just because I'm trying to learn more. But it's going to end up with greater a greater loss count yeah. so i just have to be i guess more forgiving with myself when i'm trying to learn something new yeah, yeah. and i have been working on parries a lot and it's like i'm just no i do notice like i'm just noticing like i understand that it's like conflicting to like i'd rather see you eat shit for it but i, I meant that more like in the terms of like anti airs right okay because that's like you're never going to get better at them if you just don't at least attempt them, right? Yeah. And that's less so on defense. I wasn't necessarily talking about defense, right? That's okay. more just like, I mean, that is defense, but I meant like defense in the corner, okay. right? Which is like a little scarier because if you... Trying something in the corner and eating shit for it is a bigger deal than just missing this. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I mean, the jumping sucks, but if you're mid screen, like you're not going to usually not just outright die for it or be in an even shittier situation. Because like yeah. if you eat something mid screen, like that's not that big of a deal. Right. My point was, is like, I'd rather see you at least try to do this here mid screen and eat a jump in rather than like try to tech something or mash on your wake up when your opponent's just barreling down your face with fucking a couple of plus frames right you know what yeah. i mean like when this this is just plus frames right you need to realize that a lot of this stuff not for everybody is almost always plus on block right yeah and the degrees of that plus on block is like you know varying but obviously like you know that like if marisa just does if marisa is just doing like crouching light kick drive rush that's plus one that's not a strike throw this strike throw right this strike throw this not strike throw so it's like this the only thing that's real is a jab right or like this right even this is like that loses that trades with a four frame right if i try to do like this if you mash there right four frame ties with that because it's five frames i'm only plus one right but again knowing all these situations and why they're scary and how to deal with them is tough but I think in the corner, I think I'm, I should have preceded this by saying specifically in the corner, mm. you know, you're going to see a lot more stable games and rounds come out if you're just willing to just kind of like be patient and take a throw or two if you have to. I mean, again, it depends on your life total. Like if you're going to yeah. die to a throw, then yeah, you have yeah, to guess. You, gotta, you, you gotta have to guess. Try. You just have to guess. You're fucking, you're guessing. You're guessing for your life out here. We all are. And I guarantee you when people play you, and I know it doesn't feel like that because I feel like that all the time. It's like you feel like you're not making them guess, right? You just don't. You're just like, I don't know, fucking flailing around. I guarantee you they're fucking terrified, you know, at points, right? I, mean, I don't. I've been trying to adjust my play style to make Geef scarier. Yeah. The yeah. Way, way to make Geef scary is you got to play this real fucking boring fucking footsie game. And, you know, he's yep. getting better because he got some buffs with his, the level three and the OD Lariat. So he is scary on a strike throw, right? He's a lot scarier with level three than he was before. Mm. But, um, I mean, Marisa is not comparable to Geef because she has tools that Geef doesn't have, right? She's got this, she's got this. It's not fair, dude. I've got this, like this is, if Geef had something like this, brother, fuck. It'd be fucking, be a nightmare. But this button's goaded, right? This is really good, but I mean, this is good because A, it's seven frames and this is where I'll get a lot of my mileage out of too. It's like, I guess Geef doesn't have this option, but just to give you an idea for like defensive stuff, it's like, if you're seeing somebody do something like this, like. I rarely get away with this anymore, like the triple jab, because people will either parry it or I eat shit for it if I try to like do a third one, right? Because that's not real. Mm. But I will do things where I'll see like, you know, like the thing that Cammy did, like 
they'll do like crouching jab, stand jab, stand jab, you know? Mm -hmm. And if I, they think they're trying to like do like crouching medium kick, I will just fucking ha I hammer this button, brother. This button is fucking absurd. It catches so much shit and it's such a part, it's so scary that they do kind of have to realize that you, like most people aren't going to respect the things that you do baseline because none of us do. Like I don't really respect anything that my opponents do because I know that they're not going to respect the things that I do or even the things that they do because they're going to try to take their turn back when they can. Right. And a lot of the things that I like about fighting games is that conversation and that theory, because this right here encapsulating like this right here, that minus three into perfect parry encapsulates why I like fighting games so much. And that's such a cool little conversation that looks very simple, but it's like, there's so many layers to it. Cause it's like, then all of a sudden it's like, okay, so if I start doing this and they pair, they flash parry and I throw them right. Then the mini game continues. So now it's like, do they, if I do this and they try to like tech, you know, I'm probably out of range, right? You can even check like this kind of stuff. This is why fighting games are the sickest. Then the fucking, the layers start. Now the mind games are like, they try to tech, uh-oh. Uh-oh, <laughs> you know? So if they think I'm gonna parry, but then if I think I'm gonna, like now I've got them scared to tech and I've got them whatever, now I'm trying to hit a button afterwards and then I eat shit, right? And then things start layering and layering and layering and layering and layering. And like, like you know, like, dude, there's so many things you can do from this one little fucking situation. It's a one move. This is why fighting games are hard. And I understand that when somebody's fucking dialing up a fucking combo on your ass when you're blocking is stressful, but it's like, that's why they're fucking rad. Cause you're going to find gaps. There's gaps. There are fucking, not everything is airtight. Not everything that they, there are, there's checkmate situations in this game when you're in burnout. Yes. But usually when you're in burnout, you're there because you fucked up. And that is the God's honest truth. You either spent bar when you shouldn't have, or you spent bar and didn't get, you fucking dropped the combo. And you know what I mean? Something went wrong for you to get in burnout. Nobody's going to like, I mean, it's scary when you're against Marisa and she's fucking piecing you up with all this fucking drive gauge damage, right? Like. But it's not like, oh, I'm screwing this up. It's like, she's doing shit like that. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. I can do this. Yeah, she's doing shit like that, right? Like, you know, fucking doing like a bar drive gauge damage. But this is a, these are the things, I mean, again, it's not easy. Like, I'm not saying it's like, oh, there's a fucking solution to everything. But when you're on defense, there's options and there's layers to everything. And not everything has like a, there's no, like, there is like a base rule system. And when I'm playing, like, a good point of or a good example is like me trying to learn how to play Tekken 8 and it's like because Tekken 8 is the way it is and I know this doesn't apply to Street Fighter but when you're learning a game or learning how to play it hard play by the frame data like hard play by it it's like you know that like you know like you're you've been working on it and I can see it it's like you know when you headbutt your plus four mm -hmm. you know you can hit fucking a button afterwards like but anytime you were remotely minus, like here, I would just play by the frame data. I would never try to parry, like, you know what I mean? Like initially, like I'm just like, oh, I'm minus three, fuck, I'm just chilling. Like I'm not gonna, you don't have to try to press the issue, right? Obviously that works because fighting games are fucking weird and there's no, you know, it doesn't actually adhere to the rules that the system is like showing you. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, here's the frame data, you know, you can do this and you're minus and there's their turn. But again, there's so many things that exist and. There's things that exist like that in every fighting game that just let you take your turn back. But you have to be willing to get to that point where it's like, I need to see what they're doing, right? And it's okay. Like, you just gotta like, and again, the people are gonna throw you and it's gonna be like, well, fucking Adam told me to just block and I'm getting thrown to death. And it's like, okay, well then, yes, that is true. Like sitting there and blocking is not just like an easy, the advice I'm giving you is not like foolproof. There are. There nothing's are, foolproof. Way to, yeah, nothing's foolproof. And you are going to get thrown a lot. And sometimes if you think a throw is coming, you just got to guess on the fucking tech. Or mm -hmm. a good thing to do in the fucking corner, especially, or even mid-screen, is just to wake up backdash. Backdash beats throw, right? If you think a throw is coming, backdash. If you think a throw is coming, neutral jump is okay, but most people will react with an anti-air or a DP if you just neutral jump it, right? I'm going to work on backdash timing. I, so you can slow. just fucking mash it just like if you are going to backdash on wake up if that's your just like if you may get knocked down you're like i'm backdashing 
like just decide immediately like what you're gonna do. Mm. I'm backdashing. Just fucking you're just <laughs> just <laughs> just fucking spam that shit, dude. Yeah. Like I don't know. Maybe anybody else needs to hear this. If you feel like mashing at any point during a combo or during your wake up is like quote unquote scrubby. I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's not, it's just not. And I feel like the stigma attached to like, oh, you're fucking mashing. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, no, I, I do it in fucking, when I'm playing Tekken 8, I feel like a dumbass because people can hear me play. But during Steve combos, I have to like, I have to like mash yeah. things and let them play out. And then I move on to the next thing and I fucking press that a couple times. I'm not like, when I'm doing things, I'm not like, you can hear me when I play this character. Like, you know, like this is okay. It's not, um, it's not the end of the world. Like, you hear me do it all the time when I do this. Oh, what did I get? You know, when I do something like this, you can hear me mashing it. Yeah. Why am I getting drive rush there? Anyway, defense hard. Fucking defense real hard. And it sucks. And it's like, <laughs> I know that, like, you're like, Adam's telling me to fucking try. I'd rather watch you die for it. And it's like, I don't want to watch you fucking die for it on wake up. <laughs> I should have specified. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is way scarier than just missing this, you know? Got it. <laughs> you know, yeah, there's, a lot more again, risk reward. It's like, okay, so what is going to happen if I miss this versus if I do this on wake up, right? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, this. If I do that, right? Like, I'm eating. If I get that and I get thrown, I'm fucked. I might as well. There's a lot of times where, like, on my wake up if i do this and get regular thrown i just like i kind of mentally check out i'm like i kind of lost that game and it's not true but that is such like a hard thing for me to deal with like i go through it too it's like if i do this and i get regular thrown if you're ever playing me and you see this fucking flash on my wake up and i get thrown i have mentally checked out i am just like <laughs> yeah that was a good game all right yeah, gg go next, um... go next go next go next go next yeah i'm done i'm done dude i just spent three bars for fucking nothing and i ate 2500 damage like just i fuck it it's the worst case scenario so and that again is the beauty of fighting games because a risk like this can really fucking pay off yeah because if they're on offense and this risk pays off then all if this hits i'm plus three in their face and then i get the strike throw them yep. right and then they're guessing and then, you know, but if it doesn't pay off, I'm like, fuck, I'm a dumbass. This game sucks. I quit, dude. Take your fucking round. I don't care. I'm out of here, dude. I'll go to, let me build some meter. Let me go into round three with fucking level three and then we'll play that game. Right. And again, I think a lot of my, um, cause I don't play Geef, right. And a lot of the, like, uh, my thought process of how I approach the game is just like, I know that as Marisa, and Geef is getting there with like the OD into level three, but like I know that if even if I have levels anywhere from level two to even sometimes level one, um, and they're at like 40% health, I know like any, no matter if they're at 40% health and I have any bar whatsoever, one touch kills them. I know this. Yep. It's like I have an idea of like I've spent a lot of time practicing every kind of like if I'm like getting any kind of hit confirm, it's like, well, can I go into level one? Like, can I do, can I kill them in mid screen? Right? Like, I'm just like, I'm sitting here and I'm like, can I, like, how do I kill them here? Like, if I get like a, if I do this, you know, oh God, I can't even, if I do this, I whiff punish something. It's like, can I kill them with a level one? It's like, I missed, but you know, like, uh, just like I, I have spent a lot of time figuring yeah. this out and watching people. Right? So, you know, I can do like almost 40% there for just off that. Like, you know what I mean? And Geef doesn't have that threat. Nope. And it's like, not yet. It's like, maybe that'll change in season two. But I mean, that part of the strength Don't of this character is outside. her ability to do that. She is designed to fucking delete your life bar for oh. making a mistake. Don't tell me we're going to Disneyland for Christmas. I know we can't <laughs> afford it. She, I, I would not be surprised if Geef gets a lot better in season two, but I'm not Capcom, you know? And again, part of the problem with Geef is that when he's good, he's fucking miserable to play against. Yeah. And nobody likes it. Nope. Not a single person. Nope. That is the life you chose. I understand. We all have access to the same character select screen, right? Mm -hmm. And if that is a selling point for you and your enjoyment of the game. I like doing an SPD with one button. There you go. Okay. Well, if that's your enjoyment, then that's cool. But just know that there are going to be a lot of very frustrating parts of the character. But there are frustrating parts about every character. That... And defense, shit defense is one of the trade-offs that you make. I f almost feel like I'm being nudged to try a different character. No, not at all. 
I don't, I personally don't care. Or like, is it you know, more just accept where you're accept at? where you're at. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I know it's frustrating on defense, especially because you're like, you feel like you don't have an answer, especially right now. Mm. Your character is not built to have an answer on wake up. Oh no, I, I, that outside I, of level three and I, level two. I believe I've gotten past that. Okay. I truly do. Yeah. Um, defense is hard. It's harder on the character you picked. Yeah. Much harder. Even I have this. You don't have that. I can make a gamble, right? Mm -hmm. On a meaty. If I think a meaty is coming, right? I have to gamble. Yes. Uh, you cannot make that gamble. Yes. I I believe I've gotten past that, which is why I'm I'm I've learned a little bit more how to like parry on wake up, like trying to maximize the very few options I do have. Yeah. Um. But trying to find when before when I asked if it was a knowledge check. Yeah. It was more where where do I get to take my turn back is is what I'm having a lot of trouble with. That's when you're gonna have to learn frame data. And I guess if you're watching, if so you're watching, again, this is a good thing about blocking and watching somebody because this is why it's powerful. When to take your turn back, you're watching them, they do something like this, you know, then we know at that point their turn is over, right? Yeah. This is not, a, this is not, this is now back to neutral, but you are in the corner and yeah. you don't have a lot of, they can move and shit like that. But yep. it's like, if they try to get greedy here, right? You can, you can hit something crouching medium punch, you know, sweep. I mean, crutching medium kick sweep's pretty scary because if they fucking block, then you die, right? Again, yeah. risk reward. It's like there are, there are always, there's always an option to fight back. Nothing in this game is truly a checkmate outside of uh, burnout, right? But if you're not burnt out, you have a chance, right? To get at least something out of something. Whether it's teching between perfect parry, Sometimes it's even DI, which I still to this day don't do enough. I'm not good enough at it. I, something that I'll work on later, but right now I'm working on other things when I'm playing. Like all I'm thinking about is like, you know, when I play, I don't know how it is for anyone else, but maybe this helps. Like when I play, I'm like, oh, I want to do this. This is it. This is all I'm doing. I'm fucking whiff punishing and I'm always buffering it behind fucking drive rush. And if sometimes they block it and I waste three bars of drive because I misspaced it, right? Fuck. Okay, well, better luck next time, right? I'm trying to hit this button less and this button more because I'm getting in trouble with this. I've noticed that my fucking ass is getting killed for hitting this button at the wrong times. And you need to realize your, your weaknesses as a player, right? And what you're good at and what you're bad at and what you're struggling with and literally just be like, oh. And with you, the biggest thing I would say is like, yeah, you challenge too much shit on wake up and you're eating shit for it, you gotta stop. You gotta find a way to like calm down or accept the fact that you're going to like, gonna eat some throws, right? Or an overhead or two. I mean, overheads again, really fucking throw a muck into this, but you can, sometimes you just gotta guess. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's like, you are just guessing. If the opponent is good, right? But we all have our autopilots, right? Like I tend to command grab in the same spots, right? Like you can see habits, of players but you just have to be willing to sit there and pay attention it's like i don't know ask Keith. he probably knows exactly when i'm going to command grab right Keith knows like i have patterns and for when i play somebody better than i am they definitely exploit those patterns and i can see them being exploited but i can't stop i'm really trying hard at this point in my um fighting game process because i still very much think i'm just barely over the intermediate phase like barely over like i'm still there's a lot of things that I do good, like I'm getting better at. And ever since I started practicing whiff punishing, like I got so much fucking better at it. Like I'm actually getting way better at it. Like it's scary. And this this is a character again. This is when you're playing this character, when you pick a character, you have to realize what their strengths and weaknesses are. And this is one of her strengths is whiff punishing. Because like if I can whiff punish, then everything com becomes terrifying because if they're scared to hit a button, then what happens? Marisa gets to start doing this. She does this shit, she does this shit. Fuck, she's just sitting there. And again, you can get that to that same spot with Geef, right? Where you can just like harass them with buttons, you know, like saying like fucking, you know, obviously it's not the same here, but saying leg kick, crushing medium punch is like not comparable to Marisa's, but same kind of idea. Stand heavy punch, same, yep. yours has armor, right? But you know, that using that in the situation, knowing when your buttons are good and what situations and when you have to watch it. Like right here, I wouldn't say stand heavy punch is the best option, right? Because you're in crouching medium kick range, yeah, right? And a lot of these characters have real good crouching medium kicks. Against Marisa, it'd be like, yeah, kind of fucking. Well, with Marisa, Gladius is an issue, but you mm -hmm. know, again, 
on defense it's finding out where the gaps are and what your opponent's doing and sometimes eating shit and taking 30 throws in a row is like that's a guess brother i mean at the end of the day it's a guess but i think really you could just probably get a lot more mileage out of just you gotta on your wake up specific like you can do stuff like delayed like delayed button right that's a thing but that's tough too i think for me i still don't really do delayed button that much or anything like that because i haven't got to the point where my opponents for the most part i mean i do play people that do stuff like that but delay teching delay button is like it's like a almost like a skipping a step to like beyond the base of like oh i'm just gonna like either tech on wake up or th block on wake up right yep instead of like holding and then right. doing a button i'm gonna need to stop yeah, you there because yeah. that was a shit ton of information that was like a half an hour <laughs> yeah. monologue yeah what's so, my homework uh what block, like block on block, block on your wake, on, up, on wake up brother okay. yeah yep take the throws and like yeah. that's okay that's okay okay yeah uh, that's it that's it okay just all right that's all i'm gonna tell and, you that's and, that yeah. that whole monologue was based around that like i know that was a, probably a lot but I, I just wanted talking. to make sure that I'm yeah. giving you getting the information because I'm you just want watching to give me. I'm watching where you're getting frustrated and you're getting frustrated because people are charging at you and on your wake up and you're eating shit for it because you're either just doing like a delay like they're it's funny because they're either like mistiming their meaty and then you're doing like delay tech or something and eating shit for it because they're mistimed right mm -hmm. or you're just you're doing something on your wake up that's just you're mashing right which is fine like that's not i say mashing like affectionate right like for parentheses affectionate i think mashing is good sometimes <laughs> and i when i say mashing i mean like because like mashing can be a derogatory term it's like oh you're fucking mashing it's like nah, hey dude. thanks for the games it's a bar a brother yeah <laughs> so yeah it's a defensive you can mash so mashing is good sometimes okay yeah all right i don't know i just noticed i can see the things that you both get frustrated by and it's like I understand that this shit is not easy and I can't just say like, oh, yeah, you just do this, you know? It's yeah. not that simple. It's just not, dude. It's just fighting games are fucking hard and there's another human being and they adapt because they're not a Dark Souls boss, right? You don't just like die no, and then Ryan's go through the Dark fog Souls door. Boss. You don't go through the fog door and then they just all of a sudden fucking pontiff sylvain is fucking doing like overheads and fucking he's doing like delayed fucking you know de delayed instant overheads and shit like that you know it's just like it's not the way it works they have a set thing and they do it almost every time but the person you're playing for the most part oh. if you're playing them for longer than fucking 20 games are not going to do the same thing over and over again oh when i fight ryan i hear dark souls music in my head yeah. and i know he's just like putting like a pontiff hat on or something yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So Pontus will never mash on wake up. Yeah. So that went a little bit longer than I got a little fucking. No, you got there, but... fucking enthusiastic. That's so, fine. Yeah, I just want you all not to be my baseline right now, if I've changed the way that I'm approaching this, I just don't want you to be constantly frustrated, right? That's my goal as far as the information I'm going to give you and what I've noticed. Because again, I don't think I have any I don't have much many legs to stand on as far as like teaching other people fighting games because I was taught by people that were very good and I was blessed and I'm trying to pay it forward in my own way, but yeah, it's not perfect, right? I'm never going to do it perfectly. And this is the first time I've ever taught anybody anything, right? <laughs> you know? So when I tell, like, I know that it's kid it, and now that when you bring it up, it's like, oh, I want you to try it and die for it rather than fucking, but again, the context and yeah. was important because fighting games are essentially context is important the game yeah. you know it's just like it depends yep. depends on the situation what are you doing what are they doing why are they doing it why are you doing the things that you're doing right i want to ask more like i think it would be probably be helpful is like why did you do that you know like what were you looking for and you're mm -hmm. like i don't know a throw and it's like okay no, i won't give you that answer anymore <laughs> yeah. i will have a specific answer for everything what I'm were you thinking do? of beating there like what was your yeah. hope and it's like yep. well you're never beating that there because they are fucking plus 46 in your face or some shit right it's like that option will never work unless they horribly <laughs> mistime something you know so oh. and it's like you can tell the game gives you a lot of information like reversal counter hit punish counter right yeah you can tell what somebody else was doing for the most part, even without seeing what they did, right? It's like, oh, you just hit a button, right? So, I, oh, Ryan's in Twitch chat. He's been here 
for a, for a minute. That's wild. Yeah. All right. All right, gamers. Uh, I think that's enough for one day. Nelson left. I didn't even hear him. That's my bad. He said GG gamers and <laughs> just took, took off. off. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So uh, hopefully that helped. I know that fighting games are fucking miserable sometimes, dude. I went through it this week. On uh, Tuesday, I felt like the most dog shit person to ever touch a stick. <laughs> Completely dog shit. Like, just, I was like, what's the point? Why am I doing this? I'm never... But it's like, I'm not trying to get good. I'm just trying to find enjoyment. I don't... Being good is a byproduct I'm trying of to get, putting in the work. I'm trying to get better than I was before. That's what I'm looking for. Like, every time I play, I just want, like, to have gotten that one thing or had done that one thing. Like, yeah. uh, when I do, like, a drive crush, being able to, like, react enough to drive rush and actually hit the hell stab and the the spin. Yeah. Uh, I've been working on my meaties. Like, like I am getting better incrementally. thing I was told, um, too. Sorry to cut you off. Go ahead. No, no, I'm sorry. thing I was told, too, is, like, okay, if that's your goal, then you need to be, I guess... It's okay to get frustrated, but at the same time, it's like, if that's your goal and that's all you really want to do, then you need to, like... Oh, dude, try, try me not, not being get... frustration is my therapist's uh, okay. job. Yeah, that's like, funny. that's... That's that's inside shit with me. Yeah. Like, I... Y you are an example. I don't know if you're just hiding it or, like, when you get frustrated, you just laugh and say, that's funny. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know what that is, but, like, your philosophy as far as games and stuff go like i'm trying to get there i'm trying to just play it to get better and just to enjoy it like yeah. and enjoy the process as much as the wins in the game dude itself. i need to be told to enjoy the process a lot because brother yeah. i am in inside my head sometimes i am not kind to myself and uh it doesn't ever feel like i don't feel like i'm ever getting better like even now i still i mean i am better than when i started playing street fighter 6 or even street fighter 5 or yeah. anything else but i don't feel like i've gotten better but and again, the thing is, is like, generally speaking, and I'm guilty of this just as much, I'm trying to get better at it. It is like when somebody does something good, it's like sometimes, like, especially if they're new, you're like, yeah, that was sick. Right. Mm -hmm. And I say it like very, like a, I've started saying it, but I do say it like, nice, you know, like just a little yeah. fist bump or whatever. I, I but it's like, really I appreciated that. Generally, when I was first learning how to play, even still to this day, like nobody ever really says like, oh, that was sick. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. You don't really hear it that much and that's I've, okay and not everybody i'm not saying that like, like everybody needs to hear that or like you know do, even if somebody doesn't think they need to hear that they need to hear that yeah that's horse shit when people are like oh no you know whatever i'm too cool for compliments or like it doesn't mean anything it's like no fuck off everybody yeah. needs to hear it and the thing is is like you are over the point where like you are like a brand brand new player and you're like as you like get better the the jumps in like oh man the like little jumps are getting like smaller and smaller yeah. and smaller and smaller and then they fuck all of a sudden it'll be a big dip you know and yeah. you're like what the fuck happened i got worse it's like yeah because you're you're either trying too much or you got new things and they push the old things out you know what i mean like every time i learn something new the fucking the old thing gets shoved out and then i'm like can't do this anymore right like i used to be so i feel like i used to be really good at anti-airs and now i fucking can't anti-air shit because all i'm thinking about when i'm playing people is this shit yep. you know there's a reason <laughs> i know why because i'm trying to i'm trying to make this second nature as yeah. hard as i can and it's all all my brain power is going into this that's why like if anybody's played me recently i'm eating di's i'm fucking dying to fucking jump ins like i haven't anti-aired a single thing because I'm thinking about this shit. I'm trying to fucking whiff punish the shit out of people. But that is the risk that you need to be okay with. And you need to understand that that's like fighting games are almost, it's weird because you play other people, but they're like almost entirely personal. Mm -hmm. Like you are only focusing on what you're doing and what, what you want to get better at. And again, there is another person. They are going to do things that are going to make you think, but generally speaking, you can kind of just, I'm just playing a one player game. I'm looking for a fucking leg to get out and I want to punch that shit. That's it. That's all I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Right. And you can spend hours doing it and not get any better at it. But all of a sudden, I mean, I had the moment a couple nights ago where I was like playing it's R and I was like, um, they were like, wow, your whiff punishes are insane. And I never mentioned anything about practicing whiff punishes. Mm -hmm. I was like, thank you. Like, I don't, yeah. you don't hear things like that, but I was like, yeah, that, I literally, that's the only thing I'm ever looking for lately is just practicing that so it's just like again this is a good lesson that it's like if you're playing somebody and you think they do something good just take a second just to say like hey that was really sick or like 
when I play people like now, and like even when I played like Wild Chen or somebody in the Discord, I was like, hey, you got a lot fucking better. Like yeah. you're moving, you're fucking, you know, like there's obviously a lot of work to go, but you look like you're actually trying to, you're looking for something. And it's yep. like, yeah, you're, you know, you're trying to look for something. It's not working out, but I'm telling you right now, it's like, it doesn't matter if you lose 10 0. Like, mm -hmm. I'm trying to let you know that, you know, you're making an effort and that there's something to be said about that because these games are fucking hard, dude. They're so hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're so fucking hard. And it's so easy to be hard on yourself. Oh my about God. Them. Oh, it's the easiest yeah. fucking thing in the world. I don't know. I've never really played like other competitive games. Like, I haven't. I've never really been a big FPS player, I've never been a big RTS player. This is it, dude. This I, is the first time I've ever pushed myself to do anything competitive. Yeah. I hate competitive shit. Yeah, so I hate I. it. This is the first time I have ever been like, you know what? You've let me into this. I really loved Street Fighter when I was younger. Yeah. I love the lore. I am going to push myself to do this. Yeah. It has taught me a lot and has uh, made sure that my therapist is getting paid regularly. <laughs> Well, to be fair, the League of Legends stuff, like, yeah, I did stream a lot of League of Legends, but I did that after I played Street Fighter. So it's like, yeah. I'm more basing my experience off playing fighting games than, I mean, League was easier to deal with after learning how to play Street Fighter because I was able, I wasn't, I mean, there were days that were really frustrating, but League has its own set of problems. But again, you know, it is, uh, it's an experience. I have yeah. to go home. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, I want to. I'm. Wanna, oh, you want to? Yeah, like it's one thirty. Wrap up and everything. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, 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 I'm just. I'm probably you know. gonna stay here and play some more if people are still around because I don't. I gotta be here for five o'clock, so I don't think I'm go. <laughs> uh, all right, gamers. That was uh, that rant was not what I expected, but it is what it is. Um, I want to big shout out to everybody that hung out this week. Thanks yeah. to Jacob for showing up. Thank you, Nelson, for hanging out. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, make sure you follow. If you're watching on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff if you like this. If you stuck around this long, which I never expect people to watch the whole thing. There are some, I'm assuming there's some people that watch the whole thing, but like, you know, when you get three and a half hours deep and you're just yep. like, I don't, I just expect everyone, <laughs> I expect everyone to turn it off like after an hour, which is normal yeah. for a YouTube video. Yep. Um, if you want to support us and everything that we do, you can go to over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash loading everybody run or we have a store where we sell all kinds of merchandise at store.loadingrooterrun.com. Uh, if you're into tabletop RPGs as well, yeah. we're doing a thing with... Uh, we're doing a thing with Drive RPG. Uh, we've got an affiliate code with them yep. at uh, lr.cc uh, slash drive RPG. Uh, if you use our affiliate code, like, and also the one that we have with Humble Bundle, that really, really helps us out. Like, truly, you don't understand. So if you're going to buy something from there anyway... You know, throwing our code in there is uh, a huge, huge help. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, shout out to everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, and we will see you next week. Okay. Bye.